The following is a presentation of The Day. provide solutions to all your dental needs. Your smile is our top priority. Our entire team dedicated to providing you the personalized gentle care that you deserve. Visit us today at waterforddentalhealth.com and by Core Plus Credit Union. Love the home you're in? Well, borrow based on the finished value of your home before your renovations begin. Apply today at coreplus.org. Casey O'Neill along with the sports doctor, Keith O'Brien, and back-to-back -back weeks. We know back here again, we saw Stonington last week get beat up pretty good by Killingly. Uh, and in tonight rolls the undefeated Ledger Colonels. And, uh, you know, we saw them a couple weeks ago, uh, actually last week as well, the night before, uh, against New London. Yeah. And uh, they got a little bit beat up as well. So two teams with some injuries to handle. And uh, we'll see what happens with off. which team can avoid the turnovers and the costly mistakes that we saw both of them make. Oh, a very tall task last week for Stonington, taking on one of the best teams in state and killingly. Maybe this is more of a true test to see where they're at. Yeah, you know, Ledger comes in undefeated. They were scoring points Green, at will. And the one that held them eight points on the year. So, you know, both these teams like to run the football. If styles determine fights, Casey, let's see who can uh, push their style on the other team. Stonington to kick right to left in that low ground ball. And Ledger will fall on it. And falling on it will be Jonah Eddy at the 35 yard line. So, big question mark tonight for Ledger. Is he, are we going to see. You know, Ryan Outlaw, who had turf toe well, a few weeks ago, or last week against New London. Uh, he suited up. He was Eddie. ginger on it, to say the very best, in, in practice earlier this week. And we'll see what kind of touches that he gets in the game today. Well, right now, he is not in the backfield. James Green is the lone setback in the backfield with First and ten Ledger on their Justin Outlaw, the quarterback. And he will negotiate the Ledger offense here. I'd like to thank Athletic Director Jim Bunicor for the most difficult numbers in all the ECC to read. We'll see what we can do with that. Toss right to Green, and he tries to cut it upfield, but uh, nice pursuit on the edge, and rushing to the football for Stonington is Patrick Obrey. Not much Green there on the first carry. down. Obrey had a big game last week against eight. Killingly. Casey comes off his defensive end position again, running to the short side of the field. Short Gotta game. hit Green Second quickly because game. he's a kid, you know, who's got explosive power. He turns up speed. He can make something happen. It's interesting to see how Green operates now at a tailback position rather versus the flanker position he's used to. Got hand down on the ground, coming straight at it. Out low, toss left this time to the far side of the field. Green tries to get to the outside, and he is not going to be able to get there because Lucian Tedeschi came up and made that tackle. Well, the big difference with the legend the offense is Aholo is north-south. He's a you know, between-the-tackles type of kid. He gets behind the center. He makes something happen. Now in the first two plays, you see Green trying to get to the outside and to the edge. And I think I think Stonington kind of reads that a little bit. So maybe Ledger goes back to the middle of the Brings field. We'll third and 11. Two different, completely different styles from a tailback position between Aholo and Green. Yeah, third and 11 here, putting Ledger in a down and distance it's not particularly comfortable with. They have four wide receivers. Green is the lone setback. Out low to throw, rolls, has a man down the field, throws into double coverage, incomplete. He was looking for Streckfus, but he was well pass covered by Lowry and by uh, Scahill. Pass. And Sports Prince Doctor, what's interesting is that Ledger fourth, fourth did 11. what normally would be applauded, which is they try to put their playmaker in a position, right? So they right. put him where he's going to touch the ball more. But low, back deep. is it at the expense of what they do best, which is that North-south running, yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe. Eddie the kick. I don't know. Number I mean, they yeah, like green on the edge, but if he's operating from the tailback position, maybe try and get a little... Get his hands dirty and go up the middle a little bit. Or do you go and bring in one of your other guys that Crawford. we saw run the ball and, and, and get back to your yourself? Eddie to punt. Line drive, spiral, comes down at the 30-yard line. Castagliolo reverses field. Castagliolo has some room to the 40 and crosses midfield. Nice run by Matt Castagliolo to put Stonington in good shape. But... It reminds me a lot of what we saw last week as well, where Stonington came out very, very, you know, uh, crisp and on fire. Sure. And then, then kind of fell apart a little bit. So let's see that ledger defense, which I believe is the most underrated aspect of their team. A lot was made of all those points they were scoring. Right. They've been Castle very Leolo solid defensively. Staunch. Staunch defensively. A solid word from the sports doc. Yeah. 
<laughs> 47-yard line of Ledger. First and 10 Bears. There, so Lucian Tedeschi will be the quarterback. Zero is on the wing. Castagliolo will be standing next to Tedeschi. Twin receivers to the right. Hand off to Castagliolo and he's met solidly in the hole by Andrew Harris. If you didn't see our feature on Andrew Harris, what number am I tonight? He's not 57, he is number 26. Because that means he's gonna be taking more of an offensive yeah. role tonight in the backfield and probably not on the offensive line as much, which he has to change numbers. So good, either good, way, second and nine. Good pop and good fill that time by Harris from his linebacker position. I mean, these two teams have a very similar offensive style, so they should be well versed with the other. And we're going to get a jump as right Jackson on Bolton jumps Offside, on the end. Yeah. So that'll move the ch uh, chains five yards. The sticks will go, and it'll bring up a second and four, which is a much more manageable down and distance for Stonington. And my question is, Stonington tonight playing without Josh Mooney, who was one of their big play guys. Speed guys, you know, track guy, and he's out. He was in a concussion protocol last week, was he not? In the yeah, game? so who's going to take his role, and are they going to try to be uh, downfield at all, or are they going to be just grounding and pounding tonight, which they do as well? Castagliolo went in motion. Yeah, they're going to get a false start. And they're going to get Stonington this time for a false start. Whistle blows to play dead. Official signal and is in fact oh, offsides, offsides wow. against Ledger. So back to back offsides, offsides against again. Ledger as they're trying to anticipate the snap. The first down. There's there's an easy way to get a first yep. down. First down. One, one play, eleven Ledger's yards. Thirty-six yard line. One first snap, eleven there. yards, two penalties. There you go. So Tedeschi in the backfield. Now there goes Castagliolo. Tedeschi fakes the option, keeps it himself, and good pursuit from the backside by the Colonels. He'll get him there early for a gain of one. You know, you saw Tedeschi have that big run last week against Tedeschi Killian Lee. Carry. He's a quarter, he's very he active back there at the play, quarterback spot, runs an offense very well. Line. Picks and pops his way through the line. Patient runner, tough kid too. And again, Legend will do, you know, they've got 10 guys within three yards of the line of scrimmage. In motion, Castagliolo instead, a little inside fake and absolutely buried. Tedeschi, count one, two, three, seven. Uh, seven colonels the at the ball the to make that tackle. That is a, bro Profit not a, necessarily a blown a play, hit. but certainly uh, a poor job of blocking because everybody got through the line. Yep. And now it's third and 20. Yeah, a little fake on the inside handoff. And you said, I mean, you know, pre-snap, there's 10 guys within three yards of the line of the scrimmage. Ledger just kind of loading up and bringing everything but the kitchen sink. That play works if you let the, the lineman through, if you let the defensive line through and you actually try to pop the slip inside it. trap. Yeah, slip it. Yep. But, but, if the, but you can't let the quarterback keep it and have seven guys come through either. Keep so, an eye on Obrey here, number 80. He's been a target. Yeah, he's out split wide. Now he goes in motion to the other side of the field and will take a spot on the left hash. High snap. Tedeschi's going to keep it himself. Cuts into the open field. He's close to a first down up to the 30-yard line. And nice tackle by Harris to stop him from getting a first down. Yeah, but heads now, up. Now it's in fourth down. So gonna go for it. Yeah, heads up run by the quarterback that time. Eyes downfield the whole time. I think it was a straight-up draw. I think it was a straight-up run. They had no intention of throwing that football whatsoever. You get, you know, 15 yards. Yeah, 15 yards. So it's fourth and five at the... 32 yard line, so they'll go for it here. Sure. The punt's not gonna get them a whole lot, of, so they're gonna see what they can come here on fourth down. A hard count here, try and draw yeah. Fledger off sides. Yep, yeah, not working, so. They heard a timeout. They're gonna timeout, yeah. and uh, actually, yeah, they're gonna talk it over, and then we're gonna end up. I gotta find a good fourth down play here, though. I'm not punting the ball away. You're gonna gain, you know, 10, 15 yards if that, if you punt it? No, that's what the timeout's time for, to talk yeah. it over. And this timeout's brought to you by CRAC. Bringing the light to mental health through opening doors and opening minds. You can learn more at CRACCT.com. That's S E R A C C T.com. Please remember to respect tonight's players, coaches, officials, and you each know, other. You uh, know, 
I think that we're starting to see now around the state sports talk there, uh, teams are starting to kind of emerge as what they are. And so I think your point about this game being a, re a better indication of Ledger, Thank you, uh, you know, and or Stonington. And or Stonington, you know, uh -huh. Stone, I'm, I'm, you gotta, you, you see the Killingly game. You gotta kind of throw out Killingly because they're just, I mean, they're the number two team in their class. They're, they're a dominant team in the state, and they beat Stonington up. But up, up until then, Stonington had been in every game or blown yeah. everyone out. Yep. Ledger has started to come back to the pack a little bit as far as the competitiveness of their games. Without Outlaw, gonna be interesting to find Four's out, you know, time. really who is who here yeah. in big, the ECC. Big fourth down, and that's yeah. number one. Oh, he jumped. And they wanted to try to get the ball to Lowry. Lowry, and Lowry jumped. Yeah, it'd be a false start. They tried to hit him on a bubble screen. He tried to get Logan downfield, Penalty come back, and and I'm still gonna go for it if I'm Stonington. It's fourth and nine from the 37-yard line. Uh, I like my defense. I don't think Ledger's offense without Outlaw, so maybe, but I don't think I'd go for it in fourth and ten. I'd punt fourth and, and try to ten. pin them back and start that field There's position thing because I I yards. like my defense. But Mooney's the punter. Mm. He's out. Their backup punter from last week is out. So I don't even know who the punter would be at this point. So, you know, maybe that affects you, and they are going to go for it. Tedeschi could quick kick it here. You never know. He can do everything else. Yeah. One-on-one -on -one coverage for Lowry. Yeah, with Green. Good luck. Instead, the handoff goes to Castagliolo, and he's buried for a 10-yard loss. Ledger just sending everybody on the run yeah. blitzes. So, I mean, they, they, the running play outside is not going to work. And instead of a punt, which maybe got you down inside yeah, the 10, instead Ledger's going to have a great field yards, position yeah. at the 45-yard line. Mike Crawford, number 33. Oh, you're getting into those, in those positions, fourth over. and five, and you get a, a, a cheap penalty, a nickel dimer, and you push it back to fourth and nine. It's, it's, those are tough, yard line, first tough and down and distance Ledger. to go for on fourth down, especially with an offense that's not used to throwing the football. So first and 10, Ledger, ball at the 45-yard line. And we're going to get a quick flag. Mm -hmm. Uh, they wanted everyone to know that Outlaw's in the game. In the field. No, they just wanted everyone to know that Outlaw's in the game. All right, hang on. So 21 in the game. That's Ryan Outlaw. We're going to see. But that's, remember, we said the first series, All right. they went east-west trying to get green yep. on the edge. We said they got to go back to their north, bread and south. butter north-south. Outlaw's in the game. They're going to see what he got. And what they got is five-yard penalty to start. Yeah, 12 guys, legal substitution. So true or false, uh, Ledger has more penalties than yards by Yes, Legal slot. substitution, five-yard penalty on Ledger. First 15, 15 penalty yards. Yeah, and I don't think they got positive yards on offense yet, so. <laughs> First down, out low, under center. Stone Hill creeping up. He's going to keep it himself. Nice play. Gets back the penalty and three more. I think that might have been a dive for, to his brother. But he took the ball out of Ryan Outlaw, mm. saw the run blitz, kept it himself, and that was a great uh, play on first down by Justin Outlaw. Well, I, th I, I think now, you know, the gig is up a little bit on the legend offense when Ryan Outlaw is in the game, so we're going to pinch five defenders down. We're going to try and blow them up to the point of attack, and a nice job there by, um, by Justin, keeping it himself. Got 10 yards on it, nine yards. Yeah, so it's second and six. Toss left to Poulton. Poulton cuts it back up in the hash, and he'll be down as he crosses midfield. So uh, it'll be Ledger onto the Stonington side of things for the short third down. So let me ask you this. At this point with, with Ryan out in the game, is he being used as a bit of a decoy right now? I mean, that's back-to-back -back plays where they've gone away from him. Green so the carry. The, 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 the he's question out is, now. He just walked two? off. No, he's not. Oh, no, he's still in. I'm sorry. Yeah. The question really is, I mean, I think on the first play it was a read. Yep. That what, was a design play. So I don't think it's a decoy. I think, I think there's a read going on. If they're going to send, you know, run blitzers in the gaps, then they're going to go with, with the read. Third and short, green in motion. There's the handoff to Outlaw and nothing doing. He was hit immediately by Jack Zero and brought down for a loss. So it'll be fourth down, but also, also uh, back on the other side of the Yackley. field. Jacob Yackley. You know, we saw a lot of Zero last week trying to tackle Jack Sharp. He's a, he's a good ball player, good linebacker. Bring up fourth down and four. So fourth and five, Ledger with the ball right on fourth midfield. And, and it looks like they're going to go for it here. Fourth and we'll call it four and a half. Ball's right on midfield. Green is the tailback. And now Poulton will go in motion over to the opposite wing. And... Looks like Ledger had some confusion, so they're going to call a timeout. Timeout, Ledger. So we talked about what teams are. So take a look at, taking a look at the ECC, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. 
the best team in the ECC is? That is Killing League. I, I, I really do believe that, yeah. The best team that no one is that no one knows is, is good is? Oh, man. Peter knows this. He mentioned it a second ago. Peter, who's the best team no one's talking about? Woodstock. That's right, the Centaurs uh. of Woodstock Academy. Uh -huh. uh, their only loss was in a nail NFA. bite at NFA. Uh -huh. uh, the team no one wants to face in three weeks will be? I would say Fitch. I would like that's to thank our scoreboard. Yeah, that's a good answer. answer. Yeah, I think they only, they only get better down there. Yeah. The team players, most likely to beat Killing Lee Powell, is? Lathrop, in Orkney, Inc. Oh, boy, that's a really, really tough question because, I mean, it's not NFA. I just don't think NFA can measure up physically. Good question. I, I, I think they'll run the table. <laughs> How about that? All right. In, in this league, they'll run the table, I think. Fourth and four. I got one more after this snap. Fourth and four. Out low, toss left to green, trying to get wide. Cuts it back up inside, has the first down and more and then wrestled out of bounds at about the 40-yard line. That was a nice run by Green. Penalty on the outside. Tackle was made by Will French. Yep. But we're going to get some shenanigans Two out there on the sideline. A little the extra side. activity. Nice patient run that time by Green. Got to the edge. Turned up field with a head of steam. Got the first down. A good tack on with 15 more. Green on the carry. French on the tackle. Let's see what the officials end up signaling it right as of right now it's a first down for first Ledger. down to 41 referees will talk and let the coaches Some know hard hitting going on out of bounds over there i think one of them is likely to be a hit out of bounds personal foul yeah. against stonington but the question is what the other one is and they could end up being offsetting so we'll see what the officials signal Taking their time with it, though, I can tell you that. Give me the dead ball. There it is. Personal foul against Personal Stonington. Personal foul on Stonington. And then another dead ball. Get, get offsetting against Offsetting yeah. yep. so, as, I, as I suspected, it'll yeah. be a first down for Ledger. Ball at the 41-yard line. Ledger Actually, they're going to move it up. 39-yard line. So first and 10 Colonels as they uh, got their first really successful green run of the day. And that was... Uh, that was pretty Ball good, and I think that's more than what you had in mind, right? Line. Yeah, it was, you know, yep. cut it back inside. Yeah, get him on the edge, get a little, get, a, get some space, and let him show a little speed, and a good uh, finish at the end of the run. First down. Outlaw going to keep it himself, and I know I feel like that plays available over the left side for five yards every, every single time. Every single time. You know, he's going to show you the option look coming down the line with Green, but well, he's got no intention. He's keeper. got no intention of tossing that ball to the outside. He's a He's a straight-up running back on that play. And that's pretty much because of Marlon Santagata. Santagata, mm -hmm. the left side of the and line. Four, he's just, you know, they, what they basically do is they hike it to Outlow. They let Santagata blow his guy off three, right. three yards left, and Outlow stays on his hip and just right. gets five yards. And, again, it's the, it's the threat of the option look down the line with Green, but he's not pitching that ball. Outlow keeps it himself again, fakes the pitch, gets to the outside, and he'll be short of the first down. But if he wasn't going to pitch it to Stallbush there – no, he's not. It's really not Straight a pick. Straight up quarterback run. Tedeschi on the tackle Tedeschi. for Stonington. But, you know, sports Third doctor, in high school, one of the hardest plays is that pitch with your left hand going to that side of the field. Yeah. I don't expect the first time Outlaw executes the option pitch play. Pitch it behind, the, be behind his brother or behind one of the players. Balls on the turf. Yeah, we don't want that, especially when that's, you know, that's there. They'll get two downs here to get three yards. Third and three. Stallbush in motion. Quarterback keeper, Outlow has the first down. He's in the open, and he's Outlaw in the, the end zone. Outlaw, Justin Outlow, the sophomore, into the end zone, puts Ledger on top, six to nothing. Kept it himself, broke a tackle, and off to the race as he went. And again, the, the just the, the king on Ryan Outlow is what makes that play happen too, and the decision making by, you know, by Justin to keep it himself, but. They, I mean, they come up on Ryan, and he gets the pinch, he gets the pinch, and Justin takes it out of his pocket. And, you know, the, the defense is collapsing, coming in. There's nobody on the corner. He's got some speed, walks into the end zone, untouched. So, Ledger looks like they are going to go for two, and Outlow came off the field limping for Ledger. He is on the sideline, so they're looking to rush in. I'm, I don't know if they're going to kick it here or if they're going for a direct snap because the quarterback... Justin Outlow came up hobbling that time, and he went off the field. So instead, 
Eddie will be the quarterback, and they'll Legend go for two. Going for two. Hands off to Outlaw, and he's going to be shy of it, it looks like. So Ryan Outlaw is not able to get in, and it'll be 6 Five nothing. Ledger with 324 no remaining in the first period. Legend six. Stoney Lucky there was a flag there because the Ryan, uh, Justin Outlaw was running off the field as the play was snapped. So. On the tackle. 12 so, men in the field, but they won't, they won't call that. So the one downside of the, of the defense that Stonington's running with everybody up on the line is if the quarterback breaks the tackle of the linebacker or the safety that's out there, there's no help on the other side. No, what we saw there. no, there's, there's, no there's, there. there's no one on the edge. So back to the uh, the team other than Killingly yeah. to advance the farthest in the postseason is? I mean, who's going to get in? I'm asking you. I mean, is Ledger going to get in? They're undefeated. Where they rank seventh in? Uh... If they win this game, they will have beaten two of the the, the challenges. But then they got to play Woodstock, which right. I believe Clark is their biggest the challenge. But can Woodstock? Can Woodstock get in? Yeah. Huh? Huh. What if they run the table and their only loss is the NFL? Right. Right. So, you know, somebody. I mean, that's so right. Who's going to get in? Who's going to get in? Can Fitch get in? I, I'm not sold on Fitch. Yeah. Fitch has one loss. Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm guys, Mike DeMora reporting from the sideline. It is just a knee tweak, and he will be back. So Justin Outlaw just tweaked his knee. His brother said, suck it up. I've got turf toe and a hyperextension. Get yourself <laughs> back out there. And he a will. A little ice on, a little Gatorade, and you'll be ready to roll. Eddie will kick off for the Colonels. Near hash on the 35-yard line. Another squibber. And balls, balls out. loose on the turf. Stonington thinks they have it. And in fact, they do. That was Lowry that came up with it. But clearly, uh, Ledger uh, that time was setting Tim up Smith for the, for the we won't call it an onside well, kick, but it's the switch. Well, deflection off of uh, one of the up men, yeah. 45. Because they had the ball. He did not have the ball up and down on the tee. He had it lying horizontal on the tee, which sure. tells you that he is going to squib it. So how does Stonington respond? Uh, will we see Dorian White into this game with a package, which they did last week? Uh, will they start to throw the football? These are the questions that we need yeah, to Yeah, you got to soften up that defense again and get 10 guys within three yards of the line of scrimmage. Do they load the box? Tedeschi stands on his 40. High snap. Hands off to Castagliolo and short gain of two. And then Tedeschi got popped. And that's going to be a flag against Ledger. Kenny on the stop, Cal Avery Kenny. Kenny, no gain. It's going to be a personal, personal foul, foul against yeah. Ledger. As after Tedeschi handed to Castagliolo, he turned in order like he was, you know, faking the run and mm. got popped in the head, and that's going to be the flag. So, so that'd be the fifth penalty flag against Ledger so far. So far, the best offensive play for Stonington has play. been Ledger penalties. Yes, two offsides and then a personal against foul. Against Ledger. That is correct. So the Personal foul, evidently, it's 15 So they have two offsides, penalties, a personal Face foul, and a sportsmanlike conduct. And a partridge in a pear tree sports <laughs> doctor. We are now How do you like that, huh? 37 yard line, so yeah. Stonington moving the ball via the penalty. Line, first and 10. Has it at the 37 yard line. What's your best offensive play? The personal foul against the defense. Well, for a long time, handoff to Castagliolo. Nothing doing, bounced outside and tackled almost immediately by Eddie. A great play by Jonah Eddy on the on the edge. He's going to have to come off for a play because his helmet popped Eddie. off. But that was a big loss, and the Stonington crowd imploring them. Kenny, Coach Massey, Kenny, throw the four. ball. Open it up. Well, that's not them. That's not them, although Tedeschi can absolutely throw it. You know, for a long time, the uh, the youth team in Colchester uh, that my son played on, their, their best Boyard offensive loss. play was the hard count, draw them off. Sure. The and, and if they could do that 25 times in the course of a game, they might actually score a touchdown. Second and 14 <laughs> for the Bears. <laughs> Second and 14. I went to one of those youth games. In motion, Castagliolo, toss right to him. Gets back to the original line of scrimmage, but not much more. You know, we, we've talked about this, too, on, you know, on a high school level as far as how do you stop an aggressive defense? And it, it still kind of amazes me Green how some of these tackle, teams don't have a screenplay package in their playbook. I mean, because you can really stymie an aggressive defense again. with a little dump off, and you've got all kinds of ground in front of you. I'm pretty surprised by it, too. You know why? The old-fashioned screen is out of fashion. 
Yeah, it's a bubble screen now. Yeah, I mean, it's, so it's, which, they, yeah. which, which defenses know. I mean, the old let everybody through and yeah. you know throw it over the top to your back. You know, defective play against an aggressive defense. And I'll give you another play that they don't run, which I, is shocking to me that I, you don't see more of. And I'll tell you after this third down play. Tedeschi, quarterback keeper, straight up the middle, has the first down, is in the open. Foot race with Green, and Green's going to win it and throw Tedeschi down inside the 10, but it's going to be first and goal. And then another penalty flag coming in. It's going to be first and goal minimum for Stonington inside the 10. Yeah, there you see Tedeschi there, a little bit of a draw keeper, Casey, and cut it back and change direction, and he almost got himself into the end zone. Green stopped him. I think it's going to be a personal foul against Ledger, maybe a face mask or something along those lines. Very similar to the touchdown Ledger had with Outlaw. The quarterback, if in fact he can break that tackle, right. there's no one on the other side. Right, and it reminded you a lot of that 60-yard play he had against Killingly last week, too. We found a crease in the defense. He cut back. He went against the grain. Oh, and Sportsman like against Stonington. Oh, my God. Like against Stonington, which means probably some taunting or a yeah. little bit of nasty language, which is, again, they're inside the 10, uh. and now they're going to be back at the 25-yard line. Tedeschi's talking to AJ over there. He said, it wasn't my fault. I just complimented him on the vigor with which he brought me to the ground. That's right. So the ball's backed up almost to the 25, so it's going to be first and goal from the 25-yard line, which is – a whole other animal than what they were facing yeah. at, you know, on the nine. First and ten for Stoney on Legends' 24-yard line. But it's actually not first and goal. It's first and ten because... First and ten because yeah. of high school sports. Yes. Somewhere Mike DeMauro weeps. Quarterback keeper, Tedeschi, almost got through the middle of the line but couldn't. Gets it back up to about the 21-yard line where it'll be second down. And he is shifty. He gets down low. He, he uses his blockers very well. He kind of hides behind his offensive line. Tedeschi on the carry. You know, and he's a tough kid. He's not afraid to stick his head Gains down three and, yards. You know, and finish it four and yards seven. on a run. Kenny on the tackle, number four. Boy, Stoney's is methodical on oh, offense, huh? They just they stick to their stuff. They run their stuff and just got to stop us. This Second down and eight. Direct snap to Will French. French heads her off a right tackle and not a lot there. We'll see if he gets a yard. French on the carry tackle by the interior of the ledger line. Very swift moving first quarter, huh? Under a minute? Under a minute remaining. Yes, we're almost at the end of one. Six nothing ledger on top at the on moment. The first, on the first hit. No gain, third and seven. So third and seven after no gain on the direct snap to French. And again, it's two downs to get six yards. So what play do you run here to get you four yards? Because that's really what they're looking for. Tedeschi stands at the 25. In motion, French. Toss left to French. Nice cut on the inside, but... Broken up, Crawford was the first to shuttle him back in, and Santa Gata got a big paw on him. Not a lot there, but it's going to be pretty much no gain. Maybe even lost half a yard. It's going to yeah. be fourth, and we'll call it eight. Yeah, trying to get Will French in space. French toss sweep out to the wide side of the field, and again, nice job by Santa Crawford. That would take us into the first quarter, but, you know, well played first quarter, but a lot of penalties. <laughs> uh, let's see if the second, ha second quarter is any cleaner. Lost, we'll be back for the second quarter action. You're watching Game Day Live on Day.com. Start the conversation about mental health. Ask, are you okay? Show you are listening by sitting alongside the person and by maintaining comfortable eye contact. Say, I've noticed that. Explain behavior changes you've noticed and express genuine concern. Ask, do you want to take a walk? Engaging in an activity together can be a great way to relieve nerves while talking. Ask, how are you really? Sometimes when someone says they're fine, they're not. Know the warning signs so you know when to offer extra support. To learn more, visit CRACCT.org. Game Day is a production of The Day Publishing Company. If you'd like to support Game Day and help us continue to bring you the best in Connecticut high school sports, please consider purchasing a print or digital subscription to The Day at theday.com slash subscribe. We're back at Stonington High School. Game day brought to you by Waterford Dental Health. Visit them at waterforddentalhealth.com, 177 Boston Post Road in Waterford. Your smile is their top priority, Waterford Dental Health. And by Core Plus Credit Union. Love the home you're in will borrow based on the finished value of your home before your renovations begin. Apply today at coreplus.org. Big fourth down play here for the Bears. 
fourth at about eight. Now Stonington going left to right in the home brown. Ledger in the uniforms that Jim Bunicore promises me will get easier to see as it gets darker out. Uh, evidently that means that the uniforms are some form of optical illusion. No. Uh, so. Timeout Stonington, yep. DJ wants to talk it over. So off of, a end, off of a timeout, they call a timeout. So uh, <laughs> this timeout is brought to you by CRAC, <laughs> bringing the light to mental health through opening doors and opening minds. Learn more at CRACCT.com. <sighs> off of the end of the quarter, they call a timeout. So well, another game of like interest tonight that I was interested in was uh, is New oh, London yeah. hosting Waterford. Mm. Uh, teams, you know, struggling a little bit. Uh, New London trying to figure out some offense. I'd be, I'll be curious to see mm. what they do differently tonight because uh, talking with Johnny Burns at the end of the Ledger game last week, uh, he was at the point now where he knows that he needs to change the offense. Uh, the court, the, you know, the, Gotta get the under J center a little bit. Yeah, the JV quarterback wasn't prepared because he hadn't taken those kinds of snaps, and so there's some stuff they need to do. Yeah. Uh, at the other side of things, uh, I want to see Mustafa Dinette and or uh, uh, Herbie uh, Hill? Bono on uh, Justin, uh, excuse me, on uh, Jordan Nelson, because uh -huh. Waterford loves to throw the football. Fourth down, Tedeschi rolls, throws, has a man open, and it's incomplete because a great defensive play Almost made by complete. Roman Streckfus. Open was Blackman, incomplete. and Streckfus nailed him right and when the ball got there. Great defensive possession. play. Ledger Incomplete, and Ledger will take over on yeah. downs. And a really, really good throw that time by Tedeschi. It was right on the money. On its own right on the money. Had his receiver and broke it up nicely. And you know that, and that's not a drop, by the way. No. That Blackman had the ball in his hands and, and a perfectly timed hit yep. by Streckvis, and he did the right thing, which is he hit the ball. You know, he went and got the ball. So first down, Ledger. Outlow under center. Tosses to Outlow. Gets to the outside. Cuts it back inside. Has a first down. And all the way to the 40 yard line goes Ryan Outlow. You know what? Outlow. And he's hobbling pretty bad, though. Yeah, he is. Uh, but you know what? If inside running isn't there, you yeah, know, got get him, him outside, yeah, too. Yeah, got him on the edge. Showed the you tackle. the speed, showed you the power to finish on the run. Ryan Outlow. Again, he's, he's approaching 800 yards. He was 735 yards a few weeks ago against Killingly and kind of got stymied, so he's having a big year. Yeah, the turf toe that he suffered against check New London was really... Uh, yeah, New London, I'm sorry. was really check just that. You know, held him in check. So first down in motion green. Quarterback keeper well defended by the Bears. A big stop up there for Stonington, yeah, number Jameson 50, Griffin. Jameson Griffey. Yeah, yeah that was, that was a nice play. Keeper. It was yep. a nice, nice technique, right? You know, mm -hmm. got in the back, you know, got in that position Griffin, where the back couldn't really make any moves. He wrapped him up. He didn't yeah. try and grab his jersey Almost or anything. No he wrapped him up. And a short ten. And a bear hug. He gave him a bear hug. Very, very nice for him. Second down. Toss to Outlow. Tries to cut it inside. And All right, so we're going to give the credit on that to Ben Massengale, who funneled Outlow back mm. inside. Pasta. And that's where the tackle came the from. So the tackle, tackle came the carry. from the weak side. Game that's because Ma that's entirely because of Massengale. Yeah, and Outlow's, Outlow's not the same. He's limping. He's holding the ball like a loaf of bread out there. He's, uh, he's an juking agony. and trying to move and stuff like that. He's walking with a dead foot right now. Like, he can't, you know, he's probably, probably numb on him. Third and long. Outlow rolls right. Looking to throw, does throw, has a man wide open in the right sideline. It is complete. First down and more, Eddie. but a flag is down. Lowry on the tackle, big gainer by Outlaw. I think that was Eddie on the catch, was it not? I, it's hard to tell with those numbers. Far side, but we'll see what the flag is. Ineligible downfield. I think maybe? it is going to be an eligible downfield, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, and eligible downfield. Like on yeah. That's the downside of, of the rollout. You know, guy sneaks down the field a little bit. Hard to, you know, contain. Now, the way it's supposed to work, Sportstock, mm -hmm. is the quarterback, is they're supposed to stay in pass block yes. till the quarterback says go. That's, now, that's how it works. certain teams mm -hmm. have words. Mm -hmm. It could be, you know, Colonel, Colonel, Colonel. Release, release, release. Or whatever. But until then, you're supposed to, you're supposed to pass that's block. To prevent that, and nullifies the big gainer. But a lot of it's times, in the moment, the quarterback forgets to say it because they're so kind of like, "Am I going? Am I not going?" Yeah, By the time they say Rodgers it, the, they've leaked downfield. So, third and thirteen now instead. 
Ball back to the 40 yard line. Outlaw gonna throw, want to set up a screen, it's intercepted! Intercepted! Pick six, Patrick McGugan! The freshman scores a defensive touchdown for the Bears and we're tied at six. Nice job by McGugan, stepping right in, reading that play. Ledger trying to set up the screen pass, Casey, and McGugan not on my watch. Big play by the Bears defense. So you had Outlaw rolling, there was pressure. Mm. Tried to get the screen over to his brother, uh, and Ryan never saw it, it was on his hip, and instead, yeah, McGugan just kind just of scooped right in and just walked in. And then no one in front of him, so. Big turn of events, the Stonington defense ties this game at six. 9.43 remaining, they'll also go for two. Stonington's gonna try for two. And they're not gonna get it either, so we're gonna get stay tied at six here with 9.43 in the half. The confetti from the student section making a rainbow of snow coming down. Well, and again, you're gonna get credit the front line for this whole Stonington defense blowing that play up in the backfield, putting pressure on Outlaw. Obviously an ill-advised pass by Outlaw, kind of laid it out there, and McGugan was Johnny on the spot and took it to the house. Hey, listen, sometimes it takes a play like that to jolt you a little bit, and sometimes you need a defensive touchdown to win the game. Yeah, that was a, that's an important, and you know, and that's, we saw last the week coaches are with Stonington that Coach Mike you knew the defense wasn't going to be able to make a play against Killingly because Killingly just wears on you. Right. So last week it was really the offense that needed to try to step up and, and sustain a drive because you could see the, the Stonington defense just getting beaten down, beaten right. down. This They're not going to get this is a good matchup for them physically. That's They're right. Not get beat down. This week the defense can make a play. Mm. You know, at, with Outlaw hobbled, Ledger isn't the same dynamic offense, right. and so their defense. You can say, you know, Coach Maskell can say, listen, our offense is struggling a little bit right now. Sure. You guys can make a play, and yep. that time they did for six points. And what a moment for the freshman. Pick yeah. six as a Big freshman. Mahoney is to kick off. Green back deep, number seven. Nathan Mahoney will kick off from the 40-yard line. Green back deep. The life of that Stonington Bears bench too, huh? Low line drive kick on the turf. Taken by the up man. Heading to the outside is Stallbush. Stallbush wrestled down at the 45 yard line where, and then we got some shenanigans on the far side line as well, but a good no call as it was just a tie up between. Uh, These kids are getting out of that. Yeah, Victorino oh. is being tied up with Massengale, but like, you know. We've seen, we've seen personal fouls and sportsman like yeah. conduct. We've seen some woofing. We've seen some grabbing, some holding, some offsides. Hey, these two teams are, are no strangers to each other. Peter Wappy, what do you what do you know Red about that? Run, run so back, if you remember back, back to the first time we saw Ledyard, we did the feature on um, Jackson Fulton and talked about line. how he his senior class was really successful in youth football. So this youth this group of seniors from Ledyard beat Stonington in the youth Super Bowl. Um, and two Ledger. of the coaches of that Ledyard youth team are now assistants on the Stonington sideline. So a ton of familiarity between these guys. And nothing Outlaw breeds contempt carry. like familiarity. And yards. clearly, you know, those, you don't forget those losses. No, Since no, no, no. Yakley. I can tell you right now, when I can still tell you who beat me in my Little League playoff sure my 11-year-old yeah. year, you know, yeah. Smith Insurance. Yeah. You don't ever forget those. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not going with Smith right now? No, never again. <laughs> right. they, they, were, they were dead Ball to me. Ball State or anybody. Even, anybody At 11 years old, they were dead to me. Yeah, I got you. Nice run on first down by <laughs> Outlow. Second and five for Ledger. Second and five right for Ledger. Let's see how Not their offense fancy there, up the gut. Not that fancy, up the middle for five. Got to see how they respond here after the pick six. Green in motion. He'll get the toss right. Great block on the edge. He has some room. Cuts it back inside. Breaks one more tackle and crosses the 40-yard uh, line to the 38. I think he might get a flag for a hit on a defenseless player, though, because there was a, Green on that a first down bear that was pitch. leveled on the far side. The so. first down and, and there has territory. been an awful a lot of penalties here in the early game. If this is against Ledger, this is your sixth penalty. It'd be a personal foul, too. Which there has been more than a few of yep. as well. It's a personal foul. Yeah, that's what it is, hitting a defenseless player, yeah. Yeah, this so is coming back. A one thing that they've really 
crack down on Richard. is the crack back block and or the defenseless player. Mm -hmm. If a player is not fully turned and engaged with you, you're you not allowed him, to lay him out. Uh, it's, it's probably the smartest penalty, especially in high school, it's probably the smartest one because those were the plays where kids really yeah, got hurt. hurt. Yeah. Punt Second returns where you know kids would just be oh, defenseless out the there, especially in high school where kids still don't know every, a lot about football. Right. So you'd see kids running out there, locked on the guy, and just no idea of what was around him. And yeah. you'd get absolutely buried. You know, wallop. Second yeah. And, so I, I like that rule change. I don't love them all. Well, I like that one. Line but now it's going to be first and, or excuse me, second and 25 for Ledger out of their comfort zone. Toss to Outlow. And he is wrestled down from behind. Dorian White. On the tackle, and we don't White call we don't tackle. call White's name a lot on defense, but well, that time he stepped up, matching carry. size and speed. Oh, he's fast. Without yeah, he's fast. Okay. He's an athlete. He, you know, he's a basketball player, and he's fast. He can go side to side, and with Owl a little gimpy right now, Dorian Wright can track him down and a good I, tackle. I love Coach Maskell getting him involved defensively. Like yeah, if he's not going to be taking your snaps as your quarterback. Yeah. Backup. Let him make some plays. Yeah, let him let him pin his ears back and let him make some plays. Yeah, backup quarterback's not that valuable. Let me go and make you know take advantage of my best athlete on De defense. Defensive end position right now. Third down, rushing the quarterback. In the flat, it goes to Green. It's caught and well defended on the far sideline. Castagliolo is there and. Really, you can't let Green get a step. Castagliolo got him. So no, the ball. no, and again, you saw pressure from White on Eight the back side, so Alo had to get rid of that ball quick. So Eddie will come in to punt it away. He'll stand at his own 30-yard line, and Castagliolo will go back to receive the Eddie punt kick. back around his 35. Third and 15, third and 20. These are not down in distances that Ledger is equipped to handle. No, third and two, third and yeah, one. Yeah, that's right. Don't throw the zero on the end of it for me. No, <laughs> that's no good. Third and 30. Third and 30 is no good. We <laughs> went th we'll take third and three. So we're going to have a whistle. Timeout. Timeout taken by Ledger. And we should let you know during this timeout, timeout that this timeout is brought to you by CRAC, bringing the light to mental health through opening doors and opening minds. Learn more at CRACCT.com. So I've talked a little bit about New London in uh, and Waterford seconds, tonight. I talked a little bit about quarter. we have Ledger here tonight. Sure. And Ledger's we've talked about it. We've six, seen a pick six. We've seen a six. screen pass. All of which... Uh, brings me and reminds me of somebody who everything is reminding me of these days uh, a week ago the, Please, the absolute the great stand. Jamal Johnson of New London uh, passed Stanford. away far too early Coffee, uh, tragically water. and uh, you know the community is uh, rallying around him of course uh, Jamal all in many ways known uh, made for Sports Illustrated for his 427 yards against Ledger on a Sunday morning big day uh, where he also kicked off, Legend. punted, received the punt. kicks, received Gastag punts, Liolo, kicked extra points, and, pl and scored a, and had an interception uh, defensively. Uh, and we could go tonight. So rest in peace, Jamal Johnson, uh, the New London great. Eddie with the punt, bounces, takes a sideways bounce, and it'll stay 32-yard line. And that's where Stonington will have its next possession with seven minutes remaining here in the first half. Ball is down by Ledger on the great Stonington article by uh, Mike Tomorrow, uh, memorializing Jamal 32. Johnson, who was you know not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. No, no. But is, I, are any of us? No. Are and, any of us? And as we people? get older, no. lest we be judged, you know. The, lest we be judged, yes, yes, sir. But uh, he was the he was a walking superhero. <laughs> that uh -huh. guy could do yeah. anything on a football field, and uh, you know I see everything I see right now reminds me of him. When I see a screen pass, he was so good at those. I see a pick no. six, he had a ton. I see green shifted, and I'm like, that. you know, yeah. everything right now reminds me of the great number one at New London High School. All right, here we go, Stonington. First down after the defense holds to Desky. Tosses left to Castigliolo, and he's brought down by Eddie. Ball's on the turf, but I thought the ground was down. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to end up, if they mark it at the 40, which is where it is, that's going to be a nice game of yep. about seven on first down by Castagliolo. Well, like Castagliolo comes at you with a head of steam, doesn't he, for a little guy? Man, he hits in that hole, and he can finish a seven. run. It's like the ground three. definitely caused the fumble. It's to be at the 39-yard line. He looks for the contact. He, he does. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> He's like, who can I run at? They're both tough kids. Him and uh, Tedeschi, just really, really tough. We see a late-arriving student with the floaty, as the student section tonight is in beachwear. Second and four. Hand off to Castagliolo. Has a hole. Slips a tackle. And he'll have the first down. Tripped up. 
Kenny on the top tackle. Has oh, that's a good look for you, son, in case there's there. anybody. Why well, are Stonington? That's near the water. You never know when that might come in handy. <laughs> Avery Kenny on the tackle that time the for Ledger, but moving the chains is We're quite a ways away from uh, the beach. But he's here, ready. He, yeah, is he is ready. ready yeah. You never know. I appreciate it. I mean, it's not a duck, which I would have preferred if it had been a ducky or a swan, but a straight floaty works for me. Tedeschi was going to try to throw a little, I don't even know what to call that, that scale, hill, but not, that was not his best effort. Second Worm burner, as they would say. A little hot pass to Scahill. Hill. I keep watching. Every, I can't take my eyes off because everybody that comes in has got anywhere from, like, you know, I threw on the bucket hat and that's my, yeah. effort, and my effort to the lays around the neck to the people coming in in, like, full Magnum PI uh, old school uh, shirts. Yeah. TC. Yeah, I got to take, take a look and see who, the, who I think the best one is tonight. Handoff, Castagliolo. Breaks a tackle, still on his feet, up towards the first down. Great individual effort from Castagliolo. Broke the tackle of Santa Gata, which is no easy task. And again, you got three or four guys for Ledger there trying to strip the football out instead of making the stop, and Castagliolo got seven yards. Call it eight yards on second down. And again, Casey, these your third and two, third and three, these are the down and distances that you want to operate from if you're Stonington. I have a great Boston sports question for you when we have a, have a oh. minute. Third and short, Tedeschi. Two down territory. In the backfield, next to him is Castagliolo. Hand off Castagliolo, and that time he's blown up and blown backwards. Off the bottom of the pack comes Harris. He's gonna have to run Pop. off the field, but Andrew Harris shot Santa the gap Gata, and uh, popped him along with Santa Gata. Loss of a, maybe half a yard, it'll bring up fourth, fourth and, and two. two. I think AJ's going to go for it. How about because Harris comes off the field because he has a helmet issue? Run the same Outlow. play? No, Outlow's in, on the, Outlow's right. in at linebacker. All right. Justin Outlow. You know, bad foot and everything. He's coming in to play defense because Harris had to come out of the game uh, off the helmet. I'll Fourth and short. Back judge here. Legend playing a 4-4 a right now. T Tedeschi rolls, throws. Has a man, it's caught, it's Obrey, breaks a tackle, first Patrick down, Obrey crosses the 35-yard line. Yep. Nice throw to Patrick Obrey for the first down. Yeah, I like the play call. You're going to go for it. You might as well get one of your top guys on the outside. Obrey's got that big body, Casey, nice throw, thrown by Tedeschi. Good first catch, hangs on, tackle. drags a couple Let guys with him ahead for a few down. yards. And, you know, you got to show that. you got to show the threat of passing the football. Nice job there by Tedeschi. Couple of first downs, moving the chains. The play that I want to see them run is the tight end lines up tight, and whatever side of the field the deep safety is, this side he's on the on the near hash. You Drags run, opposite you side. run the post to the opposite or the corner to the mm. opposite side, and there's nothing there. I guarantee it's open. Toss to Castagliolo, and Stalbush was the first to meet him on the outside and did a great job. Streckvis, yep. rather Streckvis was green, on the outside. Yeah, and green got him. coming up to clean up the mess a little bit too. I cast it right. Stagliolo. So Stagliolo get one. Yeah, you have to Second see where the one. safety is mm. because you want to run away from it. But if the, you know, the tight end's on the opposite side. It's wide open. There's the, the safety can't get there. So he just runs down. The, you play action. Tight end goes straight down. Hangs a, you know, hangs a left towards the pylon. And there's no way for the – and you just deliver it. That, that play is open just looking at the formation. Right now it would, be, it would be strong right. And there's no way for the defensive back to get there. Second down, Tedeschi rolls, throws, has man, it's, it's up and it's intercepted by Green, off the tip, Green down the sideline and a Green big turnover the other way for the Colonels on the tip pass Not by Obrey. Tip ball. So the ledger defense responds. Yep. Tip ball, James Green, Johnny on the 44, spot. 44 yard line. Looking for a pick six Stanley. there. But well, I, yeah, I, yeah, it's a room. As soon yeah, as I yeah, saw who room. picked it off, I thought to myself, this could be some, some magic, but he just didn't have enough space. Left in the so three minutes, 12, 259 to be exact. 6-6 six, six here in the first half, and another timeout from Ledger. What do you got for you, Boston sports question? Yes. You know what, what would be more devastating to you? Yeah. The Red Sox Final losing Ledger. tonight. Yeah. Or winning tonight, only to have the Patriots lose to the Jets and the Red Sox lose to Houston on the same day. Oh, gee. Which wouldn't happen. It would be Saturday, Sunday. That's back to, a on back to back days, rather. What would be? What would you? What would hurt you more? The Patriots <laughs> losing to the Jets on Sunday, or the Red Sox? Oh, I think it's down. a meaningless. Um, 
regular season games. So I think the Red Sox are losing. Okay. That would hurt me more. Because you realize if you lose to the Jets, you're, that season's effectively over as well. Yeah, absolutely. I like the season's over now as it is. Okay. Well, they're 2-4, and four, right? And then you can switch they to... They haven't won a home game. You can switch to the Celtics who watch, yeah, who watch the guy they let go score 100 points yeah, against them. Yeah, I watched a little bit of that game. Or hockey. And not so much. Peter, we have, we have problems with the goaltending right now. I know. Everyone, no wanted, Tuka Rask, every, Tuka no, everyone was so in. not yet, but everyone was so ready. You know, they're all ready to let Tuca go. He's only like the second best goalie in the history of the the league, goals against. And now we're you know we got a backup we're paying a gajillion dollars to and can't stop a puck. First down, Ledger. In motion, Green. Keeper by Outlaw and nothing there. Great job, the Bears. I, I'll tell you what they're not doing anymore. They're not getting they're not getting fooled on the keeper by Justin Outlaw. No, Outlo. no. Yeah, so they, what they've said, which is ironic, but what they've said is let Ryan Outlow beat us. Beat us, yeah. Because they don't think he's got the explosive, I mean, and I think he probably doesn't have the explosive. Nope, I think you're right. So they're Second gonna and string and Green out, and they're not gonna bite on Justin Outlow. There goes Green. There's the handoff straight up the middle to Justin Outlow. And it's a nice play, it's gonna get you six yards, but it's not the explosive right. that we tackle, want seen. It's gonna bring up a carry. big third down Eight, and four. Jack yards. Zero on the third stop, three. number seven. Comes in up underneath, wraps up out low, right by his legs. Ball's right on midfield. Ball's right on midfield, third and four. Handoff. Pitch now. Outside and right near the sticks. First down marker is Stallbush. Great job by Outlow because he had yeah, that in the belly. It. He and had it in the yeah. belly, kept it, took it to the outside. And again, that's that tough pitch you talked about on Pushes the option, the coming down, down, shifting the ball to the left side. Yeah. A That's good a nice read job. that time by the quarterback. A real nice first job. Down. And he got the first down. down yeah. yeah, move the chains. 45-yard line of Stonington. And that's that's a hard. That left-handed pitch when you're moving to the your side. It's a little awkward. You see that pitch usually go behind the running back. But nice job that time by Outlaw. First and 10. Ball at the 45-yard line. Two minutes. Outlaw wants to throw. Rolls right. Throws it. And it's complete at the 40-yard line to Eddie. And again, that's that's McGugan in coverage. And again, McGugan read that play like a like a book and chapter that time, Casey. And he had lucky up ball wasn't picked off. What did he read it like? Chapter and book. Oh. Verse verse chapter and book. That's How's that? Eddie, I'll look Eddie. Judges will have to rule on that one. Sure. Second and five. Toss left to Outlow, trying to get outside. Well strung out, and from the backside, we're going to get a hold. But from the backside, Dorian Outlaw White cleaned it up. But a really nice job on the five. edge uh, as Tedeschi and Zuro kind yeah. of funneled them back inside, and, and, and White cleaned up. And White was getting held the whole time. That's what the call was, it was against the, guy, the offensive lineman. Hold White had his arm up in the air. He had both arms up in the air trying to make the tackle, and he was getting help from behind. I love out, I loved, uh, White on the like defensive White. side of things. Yeah. yeah, defensive end making some plays out there. Give he's me got my the athlete. size. He's got the speed. He's a good athlete. Give me my athlete. And that and Ledger, this is back to where we're talking about the down and distance. that you know. Yeah. And with 124, I don't think they've got the weapons in the tank right now. 20, weapons in the tank would be a good half. example. Again, Peter Wappi, sports doctorism, weapons in the tank. Yeah. Second and 17. Oh, weapons man, in the tank. Second and 17. Blender. I don't think they have them. <laughs> I meant weapons in the tank like the Army service vehicle. Oh, look at that save. Straight up the middle, Outlaw will get back the penalty yards and get them back almost to the original line of scrimmage, maybe just on the other side. There's right, my save, the Peter Wappy. I meant weapons in and the, the tank. tank. Yeah. Ha ha. Just rubbing oh, off on you. <laughs> Under a minute. Under a minute. Oh, man. Third and 11. Legend runs right up to the football. Outlaw hard count. Dive and nothing there. Loss of yards. It's going to bring up fourth down. Stonington, do they want to call a timeout? Do they want to try to get the ball back? Or are they just going to be content going into the locker room 6 6? A lot of work on the tackle. Outlaw in the carry. Stonington has two timeouts left, I do believe. They have two timeouts, but they don't have the offense that really. Right. You know, is con is conducive. So, and a punt. So Eddie will come on to punt it away, and Castagliolo will go back to receive it. But by the time the punt happens, it's you know maybe about 10 seconds or less before he even gets the punt off. Yeah, it's under 10 before the snap. So, this could be the last play of the half. Stonington came after it. Eddie got it away. Castagliolo feels 
at the 20, and he'll be brought out of bounds as the clock strikes triple zero. So we are at halftime here at Stonington High School. Up flag on the play, though, so half can't end on a penalty. No kidding. Or that might be a pro rule. No kidding. That might be a pro rule as well. I don't even know. So we're going to see what the officials call. A lot of flags, a lot of yellow. Ledger's running off the field, so they think that this is uh, the end of the half. If it's against Stonington, they might just decline it, and it might be the end of the half. If it's against Ledger, then I would think Stonington has a chance to run a play, and they're saying, nope, Decline. no flag. So we are at halftime. They're going to decline it. Yep. Yep. Penalty against Stonington declined. We're Penalty at halftime. Stonington declined. We're at halftime. We're going to come on back. We're going to have some halftime action. You're going to watch uh, the, all the events on the field with some features as well. Come on back for the second half after that. You are watching Game Day live on theday.com. Start the conversation about mental health. Ask, are you okay? Show you are listening by sitting alongside the person and by maintaining comfortable eye contact. Say, I've noticed that. Explain behavior changes you've noticed and express genuine concern. Ask, do you want to take a walk? Engaging in an activity together can be a great way to relieve nerves while talking. Ask, how are you really? Sometimes when someone says they're fine, they're not. Know the warning signs so you know when to offer extra support. To learn more, visit CRACCT.org. Back here at Stonington High School, 6-6 six six between the Ledger High School Colonels who broke onto the scoring first with a touchdown run by their quarterback, Justin Outlaw, it was matched by a pick six from freshman Patrick McGugan and Stonington and Ledger are tied at six at halftime. The cheerleaders are on the field. Enjoy.
It's been a whirlwind of a season for Ledger senior Andrew Harris. In addition to starting at middle linebacker, he expected to be one of his team's primary ball carriers this year. Harris again getting to the outside. And... Well, I anticipated being the starting fullback and starting Mike. But then Ryan Outlow transferred to Ledyard and steamrolled his way into the backfield. Dive again, Outlow, big hole over the middle. Forcing Harris into some new roles. Offense was more of his backup, and then if there was really a problem on the team, a hole I needed to fill, coach would put me there and I did the best of my abilities where I could. One week our center wasn't able to play, so I went to center for a week. Uh, next week I think I went to left guard. He started last week's game on the offensive line and was on the field wearing number 57 when Outlaw went down with an ankle injury. Outlaw's beat up. He's beat up. When Ryan went down, you know, last week we knew we needed him to carry the ball. And, uh, you know, luckily we brought out his, his jersey from the closet in the sideline just in case. And, uh, and there it was. So it was very, it was very seamless. Halfway through the game, I was 57 in the beginning, and second half, coach was like, you're going back to fullback, here's 26, change. So not only did he have to switch positions halfway through the game, but he also had to change jerseys to the number of an eligible receiver. And I believe that's Andrew Harris, who is wearing his old number. All the switching has led to a unique look on the back of his helmet. I started the season with 26 and 55, 57. Just got to change basically every week. With Outlow sidelined, Harris was taking reps in the backfield at practice this week. But he'll be ready for whatever role he is called on to fill. You know, Andrew's a, a team first guy. He wants to win. You know, he, he was here when things weren't going so great. And so I think he's definitely bought into, you know, whatever the team needs, team first, you know, we over me. And uh, he's not lacking for playing time. So it, it's not like his playing time got reduced. It's just that his role kind of changed. It's definitely important to me, and I, I realize that winning is the most important thing, and that is the team, the goal is of the team, to win, do my best, help the team as well, any way I can. It was in second grade. That's when I started being the water boy. It was in second grade, and I, I remember it getting me pumped up and, like, excited and passionate about playing football, and I wanted to be out there playing. It was it was awesome being on the sideline and I would carry the water jug around and run out during timeouts and be there in halftime and out there on Thanksgiving I like that's something I would remember my whole life and seriously like I just like being around the it's team. It's such a great time, man. Go have fun with it. Coaching my boys, uh, you know, Ben and Max, it's it's awesome. It really is. It's I've coached them for many years in youth lacrosse and um, it's always been a good relationship. We don't take it home with us. We, we, we keep the, the sports part, of, part on the field as best we can. I mean, we really work to keep the football stuff here on the field and not bring it home. And Out on the field and in the locker room and with the team, he's coach, he's, we're playing football. But when I go home, he's just dad. I've never said, you got to call me this or that or call me dad or I'm coach. And it, it's funny, I think back to many years ago when, like it was right before Max was born, and um, we were doing a football golf tournament, and Ben was calling me coach then, because it was there were so many people there calling me coach that he was just kind of mimicking that. And then here, it, it, I, don't, I think he he's a yes coach, no coach kind of guy. So out here, it, all the coaches he's treating the same way. Do you know how good he was? 
He doesn't talk about it. He doesn't talk about much of it, but we've talked about a little bit, like how his high school teams were, but he doesn't talk about his stats at home from football in high school or anything. I mean, there's a ton of positives, but one of the drawbacks is I definitely don't feel like I get to watch my kids play football. It's definitely one of the many reasons I, I really enjoy. More than any sporting event, I enjoy watching them play lacrosse because I can watch them play and sit back and just watch my kids play. Now, I'm, I'm also fortunate I do coach their position groups, so I'm, I am working with that position group and coaching and coaching their position groups. But in, in the course of a game, you have we all have things that we're looking at and working on, and um, so I can't sit there and you know watch watch my boy out there. That was a really nice, nice job, job by Massengale. Yeah. Massengale actually got to the ball before Sharp did. Handoff and shooting into the backfield. Santa Gata got him. My name is Marlon Santa Gata, otherwise known as Big Country. Met almost immediately by Knight and Santa Gata. I'm a senior at Legend High School. I play right tackle and defensive end. Marlon Santa Gata is going to be a load for the Bacon offensive line to handle today. I'm an offensive lineman, and so I know that they don't get the credit they deserve all the time. But in Marlon's case, he's a kid who plays every snap for us on both sides of the ball without really coming out at all. Uh, he long snaps for us, and um, he's, he's, he's been the, the, the heart and soul of the O-line, which has led the way for a pretty good rushing attack thus far. Dive again, out low, big hole over the middle. I was at summer workouts, and I was, the, I was one of the biggest kids at summer workouts. And coaches were telling me, there's this kid named Marlon. It's like, he's bigger than you. And then one day, we're, we're in the bomb shelter and we're working out, and I see this giant, curling 75s like like throwing I'm like woo, woo, woo. I'm like who is that I go up to him he's like I was like hey um what's your name you play football Are you a coach because you know he has a big old beard he's like uh hello my name is uh I'm Marlon you call me big country I'm like okay I'm Ryan I, I feel like we're gonna have a great relationship there's a huge hole for Outlaw sprinting toward the end zone cuts it inside touchdown it's a north to south offense for sure and for a kid like Marlon it's not super easy because he's like a more of a traditional frame for an offensive lineman and usually linemen in this offense are uh, smaller, more compact and like quicker and guys who can kind of bend. Really got to be fast coming down the field trying to get more blocks in because once I get the first guy I, I got to rip off that guy, go to another guy and another guy. So it's all about conditioning, getting endurance. You know for him to be able to learn the technique which is very hard for, for a kid who's built like he is, uh, it's a credit to how hard he works and you know how consistent he's been this year. Toss right. You could have you know Saquon Barkley in your backfield in high school, and if, if all 11 guys aren't blocked, you're not going to get anybody any yards. This, this might be a stretch, but like the vanguard back in uh, you know the Game of Thrones days when they used to go out in the battle first, and they were the first in line, and they were the first to to kind of take the impact for the you know the the troops that fell in behind them. It's kind of like that. You know they're they're up on the front line. They're 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 sacrificing their bodies in every play. There's no stats. You know, there's no, there's no glory. You know, for a casual fan, it's, it's basically just understand that, you know, without, you know, the guys with their hand in the dirt, the guys with the ball don't have anywhere to go. Big hole off tackle, out low to the outside. I'm totally fine. I think it's a whole team thing. Ryan, out low. If Ryan's name is all in there, I'm fine with that. I, he's doing great. Um, we're still going to try to block the best we can. I go to the Marine Science Manual High School over in Groton. Right after school, I get out about 1.40. I get right over here for practice. Ready, go. Go. Ready, go. Patrick, you know, we can definitely see his influence on the team when he's here. We talk about that sometimes, how, uh, you know, we would love to have his presence in school. You know, we do have some 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 really strong senior leadership here with uh, Jacob Yackley and uh, Alex Castagliolo and uh, Matt Castagliolo. And I grew up playing with Jacob Yackley, Alex Castag, Matt Castag, Lucian I played a couple years with, Gavin I've played a couple years with. This senior group, they're a tight group. Um, you know, they've been playing together for for many years. They definitely, you know, they're they're freshman and sophomore year here. We we were struggling and they were here for that and they were they were having success though. You know, they, we were they were having success at the freshman and uh, you know JV sub varsity level. They bring a, a positive energy to football practice and to our games, and, and that positivity is important. It really, it just, it feeds off itself. Here we go, let's back it up, back it up. Oh, there's so much more excitement. With COVID last year, it's, we didn't have access to this. This year we got 
a full fan section. We got crowd showing up for every sport that we have, and it's amazing. We have some special stuff going on here in terms of the, the atmosphere. The I uh, like the student section for our football games is unbelievable. I mean, the the, the support of you know our, our boys and girls soccer programs, our field hockey team, and then it's reciprocal. Our guys are at their games um, supporting each other and just a very positive, positive feeling um, for and making for a positive school year too. We saw these guys were this young group, now these seniors, when they were young, we could kind of see where, where they were headed. So um, we're, we're definitely not surprised that they're they're having some success out there and doing some good things but at the same time it does a lot of these seniors they set such a great example for these young guys that you know they we want them to emulate that we're at halftime at stonington high school six six the bears and the ledger colonels casey o'neill and the sports doctor keith o'brien you're watching it all live on game day and uh sports doctor we said that you know identities would be revealed in games like these <laughs> Ledger has a tough run. They, you know, they haven't got out of the tonight. They still have uh, Woodstock and Fitch, and they probably can't lose a game yeah. uh, and make the postseason. You got uh, Killingly, number two in their class. I, we're, gonna, we're efforting uh, Granby Canton is the number one team. Sure. Uh, I think, you know, so Killingly stacks up, and, I, and they're not going to get touch the rest of this the rest not of the in this league no not in the ECC so we saw we see New London uh, up up multiple touchdowns against Waterford NFA is uh, getting pummeled by Shelton because they, no. you know they play that schedule and uh, Killingly's drilling Montville tonight I think really what we're seeing is Killingly's the class I don't know that there is a second uh, team that's going to make the postseason Fitch is getting drilled by which stock by maybe we Fairfield talked Prep. about you know, which stock maybe? yeah maybe um, you know who I think legitimately could beat anybody any week is New London because I really think the defense is good and I think they match up. I'm killing these out of the conversation. We're not, we're right, 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 right. I think right. New London can beat anybody, but they can't score. Right. You know, these two teams really can't score. I mean, I look at Stonington, not, not, not how they score 40 points against teams, and then I realized they scored 40 points against bad teams. Yeah. Montville yeah. Yeah, and Bacon Mont Academy Griswold and, and Griswold. Yeah. Fitch, they didn't score. Right. And they didn't score against Killingly. Yep. They're not scoring tonight. So good teams. Their offense is not, but their defense is solid. Yeah. Same no. thing with Ledger, though. Ledger yeah. did not score. We said that would be the test when they finally played, a, you know, a team like New yeah, London. Ledger was ripping off, you know, 42 at a clip and then scored eight against New London and six points thus far against Stonington. So I, I, I do believe that these are two equally matched teams. There's, there's no doubt about that. But, you know, you and I talked about the, the, the landscape of high school football across the state. I mentioned the fact that Darianne trailed Wilton. Last week, going into the fourth quarter, before they get 21 straight. And before so I mean, Wilton's a pretty good team, but you know that league. How do uh, they, are those? You talk about heavyweights, like every week, and there's not jabbing. No, every week. Those are those are haymakers. You're playing New Canaan, week. and then you're playing Greenwich, Greenwich, and then you're playing Shelton, and then you play. I mean, it's like every week is this, yeah. you know, Fairfield Prep. I mean, there's no bad yeah, team. You know, you know, there's no bad team. So, and yeah. FCAC is uh, is no joke. And the ECC is not. You know, not not its best uh, this year. The yeah, but it hasn't been in a long time, right? I mean, it, it really hasn't. I mean, the football has been, you know, NFA had a couple, run a couple of good years. Um, you know, obviously killing the it, it, with the football in the league in the last, say, six or seven years. You know, I know Jimmy took Ledger to a state championship a few years back, and they were knocking on the door, couldn't beat St. Joe's time and time again. But, you know, the, the quality of football in the league measured across the state has been a little bit subpar. It has. It's really Tony turned. Uh, you know, basketball really took off. over yeah. as the. You know, yeah, and baseball is still pretty. Still yeah, churn out real, state championships yeah, state in champions, baseball. Yeah. Sure. Oh, uh, what I mean. Well, Waterford carried basketball and baseball for a few years. Yeah. Uh, but other schools, you know, contributed to that. Yeah, as big well. set of run. Big set of run. Big set of couple of the back to back appearances with East Lyme and baseball too. So, but just you know, football in, in this league in the last say, I don't know, eight years or so has just been a little bit subpar. Ledger will kick off uh, to start the second half, and Stonington will get the football. So, you know, Sports Doctor, you said that, you know, you thought Stonington game. had the advantage in part because they're going to be getting the football right here to start the second half. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, come out and, 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 and see, you know what, make the adjustments and see what you can do. And, you know, the one thing, Casey, is Ledger just got to cut down on the number of penalties. I mean, it flagged an awful lot in the first half. Loose ball taken by French at the 30-yard line. And uh, not much there at all in the run back. So. And, I, and I say that, but both those teams, too, because Stonington had it down, what, first and goal from the nine. They got the stupid unsportsmanlike penalty. Yeah. It pushed them back to the 25-yard line. So if both these teams oh. have to learn 
first Small not to hurt the themselves, to help themselves. Does that make any sense whatsoever? I'm I'm willing to I'm willing to say that uh, the team with the fewest amount of you're gonna, if you're going to combine penalties and turnovers, who, if either team has a turnover in the second half, that's going to be almost impossible to overcome. Now we saw it. We saw it in the McGugan pick six there in the first half. Yeah, I mean the Stonington offense, although though they've moved the ball a little bit, right. has not been able to score. Tedeschi will start the game again in the second half. They have White now flanked out as a receiver. Toss right, Castagliolo, and maybe gain of two or three. So that time Dorian White flanked out to the right, which brings, in, in my mind, brings into Castagliolo play on the what trick play is coming. Mm. The uh, Jacoby Eddie Myers, you know, yeah, end, yeah, end around yeah. throw. You know, well, again, you, you talked about him. He's, he's an athlete. You want him on the field. You want him on the defensive side and the offensive side. So why not use him? Gain of three by Castagliolo. You know, find a way to get a young man like that to football. And he is telling me he's not, he's uncovered right now. They got to get the ball out there. Tedeschi didn't see him. Now he's going to keep it himself. Broken play, big play, gets a block, heads to the sideline, down the sideline, and shoved out of bounds by Harris as he crossed the 40 yard line to set it up. Dorian White was in the line. Wide lock open. And had no one covering right. him. But Tedeschi. Didn't see him, and then took off with football. It turned That's out to be it. a big game. You see White calling for it. He's giving you the Des Bryant handout. No one's on me. Yeah. Line, first and, ten bears. and White and Harris, a little woofing on the sidelines after the play. So it amounts to a nice gain by Tedeschi and a first down for the Bears. They're at the 36-yard line. Hand off Castagliolo, and not much there. Crawford stepped in for the linebacker spot to bring him down after a gain of two. So Green is not on White. And I would take a shot trying to hit Dorian White going down to hash marks. With that size and athleticism. And speed, yeah. throw it off. Let him go get it. Little Randy Moss play. Go, go get it. I mean, Streckfuss is the safety. He's standing back, but he's on the weak side. Right. Uh, and Green is playing coverage on whoever's out there, and that's Lowry right now. Yes. And there's White again, and, you know, no there's one, nobody in front of him. No one's him covering run. him. Tedeschi keeps it himself. Breaks a tackle. Heads to the outside. Breaks another tackle. First down, down the sideline, and shoved out of bounds. And we're going to get a penalty the from the far side. You know, block in the back, maybe, against Stonington and one of the wide receivers. Which would negate another big play from yeah, Tedeschi. Yeah, Lowry out there, number Kenny. one. On the tackle, we'll pushing and shoving. On the carry. Kenny on the tackle for the, the Colonels. But I don't know. I mean, I've never seen a team have such a hard time throwing a ball to an uncovered receiver. Like the guy's not covered. No, he, you got to find a way to get in the rock. Official signal will be a block in the back yeah. against the Bears, and that'll back them up. I think that was Lowry on the outside, wide receiver helping out. That's a hard play for a wide receiver, too. Yeah. You know, sometimes they, the block in the back can happen very easily. The guy turns, and you're still engaged. How many times have we seen that when it's so the, the play's already passed? When the, you know, when the quarterback or the, the running back's already taking it past yeah. that point, you know, you get the guilty party, you get a little handsy out there. and You see that all the way into the pros. Yeah, yes, you do. I mean, yes, that, you do. That's, that's something that seems to never leave, the idea. And I think it's because with the speed of the game, you don't really always know right. that the play is past you. You know, it doesn't feel like the play is past you. You're engaged in a guy, you're focused on that. First down Bears with this opening kickoff of the half. Tedeschi keeps it himself. And he'll have a nice gain on first down. And they're starting to test that side, that left side of the ledger defense. Well, it looks like what they're doing too is you're sending the wide receivers in deep patterns to try and clear out some of the safeties and some of the corners. And then Tedeschi's just gonna follow where the spot is. And it's actually the right the side of the ledger four, defense. It's the left right. side of the Stonington oh, side of things. Six. but. They found something that they like over yeah. there because that they keep going off that side. And again, you got White and Lowry up on top of that formation. They're just clearing out space downfield, clearing their defenders down. And Tedeschi's just picking his spots. Second and seven, high snap, handoff Castagliolo. And that was kind of a broken play. The rhythm of it was never really there. And uh, Ledger flew it up. And uh, Rusick that time, Rush, Rush Jack was the first one on. The I'm attack. telling you, Rush there's Jack. there's a there's a pass play to be made to Dorian White here, because he Third does not seven. have the best ledger White defender on him, and he's a he'd be a handful of guard out there, a handful of cover. Take two steps forward, 
and turn your head to me. I'll throw it. I'll say hike, and I'll throw it to you, and then run. Yeah. yeah. It's it's like right. back, it's backyard stuff. It's Sport, pitch and catch. Sports doctor, take two steps, turn around, and throw the ball. Yeah, to you. Like, yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be a right. It doesn't have to be a play. Third down, high snap to Desky. Screen to Lowry, caught, and near the first down marker, he might have it depending on the spot. Yeah. Well, there's a quick pitch and catch. It didn't go to White, but it went to Lowry. A little bit of a low throw, but he kind of corralled it in. And a nice job picking up the first down and hanging on to the football. Yeah, Stonington's Lowry's in business now. They're in the red Bulls zone up. inside the 20. I like down. those two wide receivers on the same side of the field. They offer you a different bit of a dynamic over there. You know, again, I hate the harp on it, but I'm going to try and find a way to get White the football. Now, Green is down on the bottom part of your screen on Scahill. First and 10 for the Bears on Ledger's 18-yard line. And there's still only one guy covering. There's one defensive back covering two Bears on the top of your team. Tedeschi keeps it himself, cuts it inside, cuts it back outside, and a gain of maybe four on first down. Tedeschi on the carry. And if you look. So, I'm sorry, how do you stop. answer to, to, to come out of the locker room? How about put together a four minute drive plus Gain of four and try to take the lead? A good drive here by the Bears. Right over the top of the Bears right now is a bad moon rising, by the way. It is. <laughs> Andre rising? It is behind and it is about to emerge. CCR. And I think it's almost symbolic as the Bears on the second half kickoff are starting to just Ball slowly yeah, emerge here ball. in the second half. John, John Fogarty on top of that bad moon rising over That's there. Bad Credence. moon rising. Second down. Keeper, Tedeschi, straight up the middle. He's going to have what's close to a first down, and the mark is right at the sticks. If he has it, it's going to be first and goal. The officials say yes, first down, move the stick. So Stonington with their second first and goal. The last time it was first and goal from the 25. <laughs> this is a little more manageable, first and goal from the eight. A.J. Massengill trusting his senior quarterback, putting the ball in his hands, letting him make some plays. So and this drive, he's done a little bit of everything. He's thrown the football. He's run it effectively. He's handed it off. Lucian Tedeschi. Tedeschi has Castagliolo to his left on first and goal. Handoff straight up the middle to Castagliolo. He's still churning and burning. He'll get a few, but maybe to the five. Test that center of the Leonard Ledger defensive line. Pound, pound, pound. Let my back get in there. Maybe slip off the pile and peel off and get six. Again, That's a tough front to, to run on. Arizona but I, you know, I like the fact that, you know, the carry. that they're, they're pushing it. Small game. You, you, know, you know what my play I'm running here? Dorian. Second and goal. Go in the end zone. I'm gonna throw it up in the air. That's that's your play. Yeah, jump ball. Yeah. yeah. Lob to lob to the to, to the athlete in the corner. At the hustle, getting this playoff right here. Six twenty yeah. remaining here uh -huh. in the third quarter. Six six. Your ball game. Almost a six minute drive to come out of the locker room. Second and goal. Toss left to Will French. French cuts it back towards the end zone near the goal line. Not quite there. He's pushed back. Let's see where they mark them. It's going to be third right and goal, tackle, tackle, and it's going to be third and goal, right I think, line. inside the five, all the way maybe to the four. So third and, and goal from the four upcoming. Puts. Good surge by French at the original line of scrimmage case, and then everybody filling for a ledger at that time. Third and goal, the five. Third and goal from the five. Five minutes. By the time this play gets off, they're going to be down around five minutes. Mm. That's a big drive to start seven the half. Minute, seven minute drive. And it, you know, I hate to say it, it's a it's a moral victory regardless, but they need the touchdown. Tedeschi keeps it himself, off left tackle, dives towards the end zone, waiting for the official signal, and it looks like he's down just short, which is gonna bring up fourth and Tedeschi goal from the, the one. 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 Be fourth and one. Fourth and goal from the one. And we've got an injured colonel on the field, which is a timeout. And we should let you know that this timeout is brought to you by CRAC, bringing the light to mental health through opening doors and opening Engineer minds. You can learn more at CRACCT.com. Well, he is a senior, Lucian Tedeschi, and he is going to guide us down the field. I mean, this is about, about a 70-yard drive, taking up about seven minutes, just what the doctor ordered for A.J. Baskill. Yeah, hey, you ordered it up at halftime. I did. Now, here's the thing. It's fourth and goal from the one. No matter what up until this play. This was a victory for Stonington. Seven minute drive, got the ball. Even, if they, six. even if they turn it over right here, they got Ledger pinned back, blah, blah, mm. yada, yada, yada. Except, 
you got to score here yeah, because this is your. I mean, you're not going to get a better chance than this. It's fourth and goal from the one, and Green is, you know, off guarding the guy down at the bottom of the screen. You got to go away from him. But if Ledger holds, how much momentum is that? That's hard. That's a big play. It's a swing play of the game. So I mean, right here, this is up till now, and I believe might be the play of the game. Fourth and goal to Jeski. Has French and no one else. Snap to Desky, straight up the middle, and I don't think he got there. Let's see what the officials say, but I don't think he made it. Whistles are blowing, and that's never a good sign. They're looking for the football, but if they haven't seen it by now, right, they're waving him. it off, and that means, no, they're saying he's short. Ledger holds. They're still conferring, but. I think the conference is over. I think it's fourth down. It's a turnover on downs. Which means he got stopped on the one foot line, if that, six inches. Which means Ledger's going to take over on downs, but they are on their goal line. But a huge stop by, Ledger holds by the Ledger defense. Five minutes and 14, sorry, seven minutes and 14 line. seconds on the drive. Empty. Everything but score a touchdown. And. What a disappointment for Stonington. And I mean, Ledger right now, they need to avoid a safety. So let's see, Outlow's going to keep this one, I bet. Outlow keeps it straight up the middle, gets maybe out to the four yard line. Yeah, I mean, that was a no brainer. You weren't going to give keeper. the ball backwards on that play. You know, second and, and eight, three. second and seven. This is a second huge, this is a huge three. possession for the yes, Ledger offensive yep. line. And the Stonington defense, this is where we talked about. Remember, you couldn't do it. You felt helpless against Killingly. Yeah. You, you got a chance up, here. You got to step up and make a play. Pinch down. Second and seven. Handoff. Off tackle. Out low. Big hole. First down. And a big moving of the chains out past the 20-yard line Outlaw for the, the Colonels. Ryan Outlaw. And Ryan Outlaw's best runs have been off tackle to the outside. He's been kind of bottled up. You see him a couple four yards, five yards, carries up the middle. The tackle, but his two big runs of 10 yards and 14 have all been to the outside. And two First huge and missed Ledger. opportunities for Stonington. Mm -hmm. First, not scoring the touchdown. And then second, giving up a big well, play there. I mean, now Ledger. Ledger's out past the 20-yard line. Breathe easy, Colonels. In motion, Green. Hand off again to Outlow. And the breaks a tackle, rumbling. Breaks another tackle, crosses the 35. Now Yeoman's work right there. 12 yards on first down, and again, I'll talk about getting carry. yourself out of the shadow of, the, of your goal line. Magugan on the tackle. Magugan on the tackle, we have an and injured bear, on the, bear on the field. And so we will talk a little bit about December as the temperature starts dropping a little bit. You know, we can start thinking about the holidays coming up and you know, game day has partnered with the day, or the day has produced game day, I should say, the day and their production of game day. We're proud to present the first day holiday classic, December 20th at Mohegan Sun. Boys basketball doubleheader features Ledger, their new coach, DJ Exum, against the two-time defending state champions, Waterford. That's at 6 o'clock. And then perennial power East Catholic against Bristol Central. Incoming UConn recruit, Donovan Klingen. That's at 8 o'clock. Ticket information available. Go to Mohegan Sun December 20th and see a huge high school doubleheader. You get to see the best team in the state, maybe the best player in the state at 8 o'clock live at Mohegan Sun. The day, holiday classic. UConn basketball ranked preseason number 24. I know. A little off the, off the cuff there. But I have to admit, UConn basketball, which I haven't cared about in a long time. <laughs> yeah. I, I like Danny Hurley. So yeah, he's, he's brought, a different, brought a good spark to that program. I might actually pay attention. Toss left. Polton from behind. White along with Lowry. Zero as well. Oh, sorry, yeah, Zero. White and Zero gain of three. I want to say Zoro with that full moon over there and everything. Second you know, you want to say Jack Zoro. Oh, you could. Could, yeah. Zoro. The mask of Zoro. Yeah. That would be, if, if he makes a sack, he should do the, the, the Z. The Zos. <laughs> that should be his thing. Second and six. Ledger trying to mount a drive of their own after 
Good drive so far off the shadows of their own goal line. Yeah, after Stonington had it for over seven minutes, Ledger trying to respond. Here's a toss right to Outlow. Outlow feeling a little healthier, gets to the outside and has a first down. And right now, Ryan Outlow is uh, he's moving a little better on that foot. I, I don't know how much pain or discomfort he's in, but he is not letting it disrupt him from moving the football. You know, and again, his biggest gains have been to the outside. I mean, usually he's a north-south runner, but again, he's got to string that out. And, you know, he probably ran 20 yards third to get one. six. But at least he turned up field and got something out of it. Yep, third and one. Big chance here for the Stonington defense to match Ledger's defense on that goal line stand we had earlier. Tight formation for the Colonels. Dive to Outlow, and it's going to be close to the mark, but he'll be right at the sticks. I have to give uh, Ledger coach Mike Siricchio a lot of credit. Outlaw, the you know, he didn't know what he was going to get out of Outlow. Their traditional dive Tackle play has not worked. Their toss Nancy sweeps Gale. the green. They, they made not the adjustments. Working. They made the adjustments. Yes. Let's go Short to the edge. Game, for first down for Ledger. First down, first Ledger. Move the chains. On their own 47-yard line. It's a good drive here by the Colonel offense. I mean, they're going to have this thing to the end of the third quarter. We're going to mm. see two drive, two two possessions in the third quarter of this game. I promise you, the next score wins. <laughs> You're not going on the limb saying three more scores. No. Or? There's my moon out, by the way. Yeah, I see it. Beautiful, right? Yeah, gorgeous. Option, green on the pitch, good pitch. Green to the outside will gain about eight, showing a little bit of toughness out there. Right. Green, Again, you talk about carry. waiting till the Four last possible the second on that side. option to get green to football. Good job that time by Outlaw because he had a host of Stonington Bears breathing down his throat. And a green, you know, again, green, he knows to do it to football. You know, he gets in deep in the backfield. Got a little bit of a heavy steam, got some blocks Four in front of him. Seven. And, uh, you know, he gets six, seven yards out of it. Gonna call it, I'll call it six. I think it's second and four. Yeah, long three, short four. Ball's in Stonington territory though. Outlaw is out of the game. That being Ryan Outlaw. Justin Outlaw is under center. Outlaw tossed to green. Wide side, cuts it back inside, breaks a tackle and is close to the first down. I think he's green got it. Curry. Brought that's down from behind. First down that's all green. I'm sorry, Case. That's all green because Dorian White kind of set the edge, pushed Green back in. He recognized couldn't get to the, uh, you know, to the uh, far corner here and turned it upfield and good yards on, um, on second down. Smart play by Green. Move the chains again. It'll be another first down for Ledger. And absolutely, Sports Doctor. This is a almost 60-yard drive on their on their right. Yeah. And they're going to take this thing down, and it'll be the end of the third uh, quarter before you know it. And we have an official timeout. I think we have an equipment malfunction. Right. So coming off the field is Scahill. And going onto the field is Blackman. First down. Out low. Under center. Option, keeps it himself. And forward progress is being pushed. The big guys are pushing him forward and he's gonna end up with a big gain, almost to, almost eight yards. Love when the big guys get behind scrum. you and shove you. A scrum down there. And of all the, the rules that there are in football, the, tackle, the idea the that four. it's fair pushed, game to that, yeah, to yeah, yeah. Makes, I mean, that ranks very high on my list of really? like. That reminds me of the Nat Liner play with Reggie Bush. And I don't want to stop, talk about please that. Please stop. I don't, I don't want to. Too soon. Too end soon. of the third quarter. Too soon, Sports <laughs> Doctor. We're at quarter. the end of three. It's still 6 6, but Legend's on the That's move. The Come the on back quarter. to fourth quarter action. Legend You're watching six. Game Day Live on Day.com. Tips from C-Rack to help you grow your mental wellness. Get seven to eight hours of sleep per night. Avoid screen time and large meals before bed. Try new activities and meet new people. Find a career or volunteer for a cause that fits your values. Get outside and change your scenery. Challenge your mind through games, books, or activities. Stick to a weekly budget. Take time to process your emotions through meditation. And write down your thoughts in a journal to help organize your feelings. To learn more about how to improve your mental wellness, visit CRACCT.org. Game Day is a production of The Day Publishing Company. If you'd like to support Game Day and help us continue to bring you the best in Connecticut high school sports, please consider purchasing a print or digital subscription to The Day at theday.com slash subscribe.
of the bleachers. Game day is brought to you by Waterford Dental Health. At Waterford Dental this Health, we provide solutions to all your dental well, needs. Right. Visit us today at waterforddentalhealth.com or pop in at 177 Boston Post Road in Waterford. Why would you, um, you didn't mention the, uh, the hot dog delivery at halftime for the crew. Well, you know what, Sports Doctor, the first thing I'm going to mention is Core Plus Credit. Right. You've got to love the home you're in. Borrow based on the finished value of your home before your renovations begin. Apply today at coreplus.org. We'll talk about the hot dog after this second and short with alleged colonels now going left to right as we start the, first, as we start the fourth quarter. Out low. Toss right to Green. Nice catch. Stiff arm. Tries to reverse field. Dances and a great job rallying to the football and tackling him by the bench. And that's a Easy. dangerous, dangerous play. Easy. Easy. And, and Green's, Green's doing, doing push-ups push on the sidelines. Yeah, right. I love it. James Green said, I'm good. Let's go. Yeah. That Check was that outstanding. Yeah, great. The playmaker says, let me get a couple in here. Yeah, At least seven. Seven push-ups for number seven. So I had a live long drive here to Stonington. It's far away. Mm -hmm. And uh, normally I grab something to eat because I, you know, I ate it at noon today. And the last time I had something, yeah, busy so I, job. I grabbed. I want to usually stop and I grab something. And uh, there was an accident well, on the highway two, and traffic four, was backed six. up. And I had to rush here. Uh, and at halftime, the uh, the sports doctor was nice enough to grab me a hot dog. Balls on the Not just you. Oh yeah, of line. course you got one for Peter Wappy. He he yeah. asked you to. That was very nice. Right. But without being asked. He got one for your buddy, yeah. which I'm pretty sure was destined for your belly, but instead it went into mine. And I told you I will yeah. gladly pay you tomorrow for <laughs> okay. the hot, hot dog, dog today. Yeah, yeah. And on top of it, true or false, Sorry, we yeah. don't have that hot dog lasted seven seconds. One, two, ten. <laughs> I was down for the count. <laughs> that that hot dog had never had a chance. chance. I had a hot dog had no shot. Have you ever heard a hot dog scream in anticipation? Because <laughs> that thing was like, oh, no. All right, here's down a the gullet. two downs Third for – this third and six, as Ledger's not kicking the football from here. But that last play was the best Stonington has done at pursuit at, that we've seen so mm. far. So let's see how they do here. It is third and six. In motion, Poulton. Yeah. And a backside play made by Dorian White. Yeah. That's he, White. Yeah. There you go. There's your, there's your athlete yeah, exactly. out yeah, there. Hit. There's your senior making a play, Dorian White. And again, he was locked in on Ryan Outlaw. Okay. Wouldn't let him up. Big time stop right there. Yeah, Yackley did a great job of, of setting it. And then as Outlaw looked for the hole, White came off the defensive end spot and just buried him. And now it's you know, that's back-to-back -back small losses. It's now fourth and six. And Ledger, is, I think they're going to consider punting it here and trying to pin Stoneton back. I, I, don't, you know, I don't think they have a lot of confidence in a fourth and sixth play, you know, which is true. And so... Huh? As on, on, you know, we'll see Eddie. Eddie will punt you. Yeah. But he's also the backup quarterback. So it's, you know, it's not a lock that he kicks thing, this thing away. French, French back will go back for Stoning. Eddie to kick. Good snap. Eddie will punt it away. Kicks it away from French and gets a fabulous bounce. And Ledger is going to down it inside the five. Down maybe all the way to the one-yard line, wow. two-yard line. Yeah, so you know what? We saw Ledger take over on the one-yard line and bring it all the way to midfield. Turnabout is fair play. Well, this is where they left it off the drive. That's right. They left off the drive on the one-foot line. They start their drive on the one-foot line. So that's like I said, turnabout is fair mm. play. They are now. And here's the thing. They don't have the same capabilities Ledger has of the four line. yards First at a time, Bears, which we saw with Outlaw, you know, kind of getting it. Right. Because... They go shotgun. Castel, you know, uh, Castagliolo's in the back, you know, going to be a tough matchup here. Lots going to be put on Lucian Tedeschi's um, feet and arm on this drive. I would love to see them throw the football huh. to, 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 out of it. Not not yeah. from here. You want to see Dorian White get He's on the sideline, so I'm not right. going to. Yeah, I'm just saying in general. I totally would. Massengale checks in instead. And I won't be able to see from here what he gets, so I'm going to be relying on the officials. On first down, though, Tedeschi from the shotgun. He keeps it. He goes straight up the middle, and I don't know how much he got. It looks like maybe two. Tedeschi on the keeper. He kind of lost the ball a little bit on the, uh, on the center line. exchange, on the snap. So he had to gather the ball first and kind of run through the line of the scrimmage. I think they just want to get out from underneath their goal line right here. I don't think you see anything trickery Lillard, down there. Lillard, you know, game, second and spotted ten. at the one and a half. I got to say, Tedeschi runs to the sidelines to get the play every time. 
Doesn't that seem like an extra four miles on the guy that you're making? Yeah. Like he's, he's running the ball every play. Old school. It's old school. That's a lot of, that's a lot of wear on tear on the tires. He's a, he's a senior in high school. That's true. So let's make him extra tight. Keeps it himself again, and this time has a much nicer gain. Crosses up and gets almost to the 10-yard line. Back and to maybe the 5-yard line, yeah. Yeah, 6, so it'll be third and long. Speaking of wear on the tires, uh, the wife ran a race uh, of 62 miles. Are you serious? Strict, I am serious. Strict, she ran a race 13 hours, 62 miles. Five, when was this? Uh, last weekend five, in, 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 uh, five, in New five, Hampshire. Five. Ghost train. Uh, Did you go? No. 62 miles. That's two marathons and then tack on a 10 miler on top of it. How many hours did it take? 13. Third and five. Tedeschi in the backfield by himself in motion now goes Castagliolo. Tedeschi keeps it. Tedeschi tucks and goes in tackle. Not much there. And Ledger's Tedeschi held. Stonington, the by the way, Very low who is without their punter. So let's find out who's going to punt this thing away. This is, their first, this is their first, first punt part, of the game. Yeah. Peter Wappy, if you could come up, you're a illiterate man, if you could come up with one word to describe Bring a 62 mile, 13 hour overnight race in New Hampshire, what would you use? No. That is a fine descriptive word. It has so much depth and meaning to it. Well, thank you. <laughs> no thank you, no thank you. Mahoney, kicking from his own end zone, gets it off and it's a good kick. It takes a great bounce for Stonington, where Green will field it at the 45, and he's brought down at the 40. Good kick. That's a big kick from Nathan, uh, excuse me, from Ethan Mahoney, the sophomore. You think about that, it's almost a 55-yard kick, 10 yards back in the end zone, Lindsay, a 45, great kick. Number one, don't get it blocked. Mm -hmm. Actually, number one. Don't step on the end line, That's catch it. Number one, catch it. Yeah. Yeah. Number two, don't get it blocked. And number three, give your defense a chance. And they do, they have a chance. So that's a great job by Mahoney, but it's also great field position for Ledger as they have the ball at the Stonington 41-yard line. Eight minutes remaining. Could we could, could we be headed to our first ha, overtime game of the year? In motion, Poulton. Toss left to Poulton. Turn back inside. Nothing there. And again, White. Dorian White yeah. is Dorian White is dominating this game from his defensive end. Yeah, he's, he's either chasing down the running back on the option keeper, or he's setting the edge and pushing the play back into the inside. And Stonington, good good job tackling, but, but White has played that. Heck of a ball game. This is what happens when you play assignment football, which mm. is what Stonington does, but then you have a playmaker. Right. So he's making plays and allowing the assignment football of the rest yeah, of their defenders because the yeah. they're, they're getting free shots at running backs and or, or quarterbacks. Second and 13. Outlow rolls. Going to keep it himself, and he's shoved out of bounds. Mahoney shoved him out of bounds, and it'll be a... Oh, check that. McGugan shoved him out of bounds. Our guy. Big third down. After third and six, maybe. Game. Yeah, and I, again, you got. I mean, originally I would have third said this is five. two down territory, but I think after what no, we saw from no. Eddie, yeah, yeah. Eddie, they might punt it if they don't get the fourth. You know, the the first down here. What are they going to draw up? This is a big time. Third and seven. This is a big time play on defense. Big time play on offense. Just and under 7:30 left to go in the ball game. Right now, if I'm Stonington, I'm saying Dorian, go get him. Third and six and a half. Green in motion. Hand off up the middle to Outlow. Fighting, but he's going to be short. Great job by the interior of the bare line. To French on the tackle. Outlaw held the Outlow. French, French was yeah, the first French one there. The All right, fourth and Game four. Two, fourth and three. Ball at the 35-yard line. So you know Ledger's going to go forward here. You got to think Outlow again, right? I mean, that's their, that's the or bread the, and butter. Or the keeper. Or so, the does Sto to, so does Stonington sell it out? On, uh, yes. To the middle of the field. If Green goes in motion, that's hard to do. Poulton in motion. Outlow, off tackle. He'll have right up to the marker. I think he's got it. Oh, he's close, huh? I think he's got it. The officials are coming up to it. I think they're the going to say, yeah, first down. Yeah. That's a big run right there on fourth down. Well, that was a good job by the offensive line because Ryan Outlow, when he took that handoff, he was actually almost two yards down. Field. So basically, he only needed to get two yards on his own. He's a big kid. 
So the offensive the line did a line great job that time for Ledger. It's crazy to say this because we've only seen record. three possessions. So actually, we've only seen yeah three possessions. Three possessions so far. Four. This is the fourth possession of the of the second half. Right. This might be the last possession of the game. Could be right. Uh, for Ledger, I don't, they're not going to get the ball back no. after this possession. This could be the last possession of the game. Period. That's going to be close, but yeah, that's a lot of time still for that. But it's going to be close. But that this is their last possession of the game. First and ten. Ball at the 30. Hand off to Green, straight up the middle, and that's a nice gain, five yards on first down, James Green. Good surge up front by the offensive line. And that's what you had been looking for Green to do, right? Get a little Five dirty, he said. Yeah, yeah, get a little dirty. Six. Go north and south, and head white. down. That's Second six yards. Four. That's a good, that's a great gain on first down. And he's such a different back than Outlaw. You, you wouldn't expect him. Well, he has the power, though. Yeah. He does have the power. We've, you know, we know he's got the speed. He has a little pop to him. Uh, he's not, he's, listen, I'm not sure there's an ounce of fat on him, and the kid is uh, a strong young man. Second and six. In motion, Poulton. Trying to strip the football up close to the marker as Outlow kept it. But yeah. Jack nope. Zero blew that play up in the backfield. Quick, number seven. Third and one, third and two. Three, Gonna third be and close. Two. French and Tedeschi on the stop. 24 and six. Third and two. Third and two, tight formation for the Colonels. Straight up keeper right there. And it's going to be a first down with the big guys pushing them forward all the way inside the 15-yard line, close to the first 10. Down ledger. Center of the line finally stopped. What's that play call low. called? Tra uh, jail, jailbreak. <laughs> <laughs> everyone just, run. Just everyone, just yeah. Push you guys. I'm going to run forward. Rugby. Uh, yeah. Scrum diddlyicious. Yeah, that's, that's a good word. 4.30 remaining here. Time out. It's going to be... That. First and 10 at the 12-yard line. That's uh, Ledger knocking on the door with 4.30 remaining. There's a timeout on the field. This timeout is brought to you by CRAC, bringing the light to mental health through opening doors and opening minds. You can learn more at CRACCT.com. All right, Sports Doctor. Red Sox win tonight? My heart or my wallet? Red Sox win tonight? No. Celtics win tonight? Uh -huh, with the playing the Raptors? Yeah. Yeah, at home? I don't know. Celtics uh, win tonight? Uh, yes. Bruins win tonight? Sure. So you got two out of three of the Boston teams. Yeah. Patriots win Sunday? Yeah, oh, God, I hope so. Right, so you're going three out of four Boston yeah. this week. All right, Notre Dame win this week? Uh, Notre Dame's playing, um, are they playing USC? Yeah. They are, right? 4.30 on mm -hmm. Saturday? Yeah, yeah you, you, Notre Dame wins. Okay. So of the your, of your teams, yeah, you got five out of six winning this week. Yeah, I just don't think the Red Sox can pull it off tonight. I think you're right. I think they, 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 the Houston's a better team. Yeah. And I thought that, that – you know, the, the ninth inning oh, the other yeah. night was tough. Yeah, they had to hit their way through, and uh, yeah. Houston, Houston's made some adjustments. And uh, First and 10 for Ledger, starting from 11. First and 10 from the 11. Ledger knocking on the door in a 6-6 game. Toss right to Green. Green's got a head of steam. Green's heading toward the corner. Puts his head down and crosses the five-yard line. James Green that time sensed. He could sniff, the mm. sniff the end zone. That's White and Zero and uh, number eight out there too, Scahill on the tackle. And again, that's a great job by the Stonington defense not allowing Green either A, to get to the edge, or B, turn it upfield. So he's just outside the five. We'll call it the 40-yard run for five yards. It was a long run, but he said, you, could, you could see him sniffing the, uh, the corner there. He wanted to turn it, but instead it'll be second down. Ball at the six. six. Hand off green, off tackle, and he waltzes to the goal line as he in. So close, touchdown, Colonels. The playmaker, James Green, puts touchdown, the Colonels on top. 12-6 with 4-14 remaining in the ball game. Talked about a little bit of that dirty work by James Green up the middle, Casey. Gets the edge that time right up the gut. And a great job by that ledger offensive line on this drive. Picking up a third down, picking up a fourth down, moving some bodies. Yeah, he got right behind Santa Gata. Mm. That's their guy. When yeah, in doubt, they run it behind the big man, and Santa Gata got it done. 
And they'll be in with Eddie to kick the extra point here, 12-6. Stonington got time, 4-14's a lot of time left. But Stonington trailing here now, late in the game. Snap, hold, kick is good. And 13-6, Ledger Stonington on top. Six. And uh, you know, it hasn't been pretty for the Colonels the last couple of weeks. If they can find a way to, to hold on and escape this one with a, with a victory, you know, they, they're going to stay undefeated, and then we're going to see them next. Right. I think next week they got Woodstock, and it's just, a, and 14 just seconds you know, left put, you know the they, game. they're going to go week to week, and if they can get out low back healthy, oh, yeah. they're still a dangerous team. That drive to start the second half by Stonington, they're all the way down to the seven one minute, almost seven and a half minutes. Foot line. Yep. To come what away a game! What, and we said, what would be the momentum switch if Ledger held? All right. And then they flip this, and then they flip yep. the field position. Stonington needs a return. Yeah. They need to be up. Be midfield, 45-yard yeah. line. They need to be up a little bit here to give themselves a little bit of a short field. And I would think down. Ledger's going to yeah, one of those short fastball kicks. Blackman and you know, short, you know, one of their up men. If Eddie, had a, if Eddie could do whatever he wants right now, Eddie to kick off. he would kick a line drive. To number 52. Ten, ten, ten feet yards. off the ground. No, ten feet off the ground, straight up the middle. Base hit right up the middle. Right. It, it'll roll. You know, just let it roll into the next group. You know, he wants Will French to field this thing. Kind of like that right there. Right in the middle, it comes down. Blackman picks it up, breaks tackle, and gets to the 30. Well, here you go. There's, there's, there's. The playbook's got to be wide open here on this drive. I would say that that kickoff by Eddie was perfectly executed. Yeah. That's exactly what you wanted to do. He managed to keep it away from their biggest playmakers. He managed to get it to the last line of the of the kick return uh, without a real opportunity for a return. 4.06 and they're at their own 30 yard line, 31 yard line. And uh, you're right, you gotta get to your playmakers. And for gotta me, get that's some guys in the for me it's number five. Right. Right. I gotta try to get Dorian White the football here because I think he's been Close to breaking things defensively. Nobody guarding him. Toss to Castagliolo. Oh, and he is popped as he heads out of bounds. That's a nice and Harris tackle. again coming up. He's had, a lick. He's had a big game. Lost his helmet a time or two here. Yeah. Right. It's all right. On the carry. And Harris comes out of that linebacker game position. He's the pop. Stopped by Harris, number 26. Clock with 4.01 remaining. And again, Stonington's asking their wide receivers to block downfield. How does that catch the football? I mean, second and seven. You know, you've got. You know, Lowry here on the outside, and you got White in the slot uncovered. Tedeschi screened to Lowry, and nice job coming up, making the tackle. That's Harris, Harris again. Yeah, he's not gonna, you're not going to get anywhere with that play. Now, Harris has been high, he's flying to the football, and that's going to bring up third and you know five. But Game of two, clock third running, five. 345. If you're going to throw the football, I watched Tedeschi in warm-ups throw a wheel route 30 yards. Yeah. you got to throw the ball. got to throw the football. Wheel route wouldn't be a bad play either, by the way. Fake, you know, fake it to the running back and let him continue out on yeah. the wheel. See if you can get him in space, but you got to throw the football. I mean, you've got one defender in Stalbush down here. You have two speedy receivers, yep. deep safety, and then you got Harris as the next closest defender. And two up top, too, with only Green up there. I mean, that's Tedeschi. Wants to throw, pressured, steps up. Deep down the sideline, double coverage, it's up, and White goes up and gets it at the 32-yard line. Dorian White you. makes a big play for the Bears. Thank you, please, thank you, can I have another? Your playmaker, Dorian White. I mean, that was a ill-advised throw, but he put it up in the air yeah, in the double right. coverage, and we said, that, get it. there's the lob. We yeah, wanted to see Dorian White, and he went up and got it, and Stonington is in business at the 32-yard line as Ball we go under three minutes. Line of Ledger, first and ten. First and ten. Handoff, Castagliolo, and Wyatt Crawford comes up and makes, meets him at the point of attack. No gain on first down. Crawford on initial hit, Castagliolo. Second no and gain. ten. Second and ten. Run it again. Run the Throw same play. Throw it up. Let your guy go get it. Trust White. And again, you know, number 80 on the other side. Over, he's uncovered too. Muffed snap. Castagliolo gets it. Wrestled down by 
Eddie after a Peteglio short gain. That's going to bring up third and we'll call it seven. Stop by Eddie. Got an injured you know, with, on with the these two runs on first and second and down, you really kind of limit your options. I would have went right back at a pass play on first down. Play action, something. Here's something to keep in mind. Stonington doesn't have a kicker. No. Uh, to, 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 so if they score, they're going to go, go for two. two. I think this thing's going to end one way or the other. Big third down here. I mean, and obviously it's uh, two down territory, but big third down here for Stonington. Third and long, not ideal for them, but I'm going to throw the football. I'm throwing it up. I am going up top. Bears crowd imploring their team one time. Tedeschi to throw, pump fake, pressured, avoids a tackle, slips, and he's going to be out of bounds. Tedeschi, Close. And they're going to mark him out at the 25-yard line, which is going to make him three yards short. 139, and it's a huge fourth, fourth down play. Fourth and three. Fourth and three for the Bears. Timeout. Stonington, AJ Maskey, I want to talk, talk about, about, about it. Peter Wappi, we have any scores from our out of town games? I think Montville Killingly was a done deal. I think no. Fitch New Fairfield was a done deal. Or Fairfield Prep rather was a NFA done deal. NFA was getting pumped. NFA Shelton was a done deal. The only question was did New London hang on? And was there anything else? We got, you know, next week we got soccer and volleyball supposed yeah. out there. So you get to take a, you get to take a little hiatus from your, uh, so. uh, from your color duties. Sure. Get back in the mix where you like to right. be down on the field. Get to oh. Oh, we got Shelton 49, NFA 12 at the half. Yeah. That was 40 minutes ago. So. All right. 49 to 12 at the half. I, how do you score 49 points? And how do you score 61 points in a, in a half? That's a lot. Here we go. Fourth and three. Fourth and three, ball at the 25-yard line of Ledger. French is in the backfield with Tedeschi. Tedeschi keeps it, tries to get to the outside, does, has the first down, uh, and he's horse collared collar. out of bounds by Eddie, but no flag, but it is a first, first down, down for Stonington. Big run on fourth down by the senior quarterback, Tedeschi. I thought there was a personal foul on Ledger, too. I thought he got a horse collared. I agree. I agree. I, I, I have all the stuff they called in the first half. Right. That's a surprise to me. But the larger story is first down Stonington, the ball to 20 the yard line. line. New London and Waterford tied at 28 right now. There you go. I called that. Said, can you hang on? Tedeschi fakes the throw, keeps it himself, and Santa Gata wow. is going to got him. To check that. That's Rush Check. Rush Check yeah, yeah, got him. Rush Check. And. Tedeschi on the carry. Tedeschi's Stop. down. Tackle by Ruschek, number 70. Long He's up. One. He's up. Second and 11. He's got to come off for a play. Second and 11. He's got to come off for a play. He's limping. The question, so they're going to, well, the question is, does Dorian White take the snap, which I think he will. I'm sure. Can he throw it to himself? Nah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> 120 remaining. They call timeout. They haven't yet. White wants to know what the, what they're what the play is. One ten, the clock's running. You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. I might have used a timeout right there to yeah. settle. I mean, I think you put your quarterback Check out back, the back in. Judge. We're down under a minute here. Yeah, this play. This, if this play gets positive yards, I'll be shocked. This was this play was blown up from the start. Second down and eleven. White under center. I mean, on the shotgun. He rolls, he's gonna throw. Throws a bullet, caught by Lowry. Inside the 10, inside the five, down to the four yard line goes Lowry. Wow. Luke Lowry from Dorian White. And that was a, that was a bullet first throw. And Bears, first, first and goal. Bears, first and goal, 37 seconds and counting. 37 seconds left in the game. Ball marked at the four yard line. They keep White in at quarterback. French goes in motion. White keeps it. Walks White walks in. into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. Touchdown, Bears. Touchdown, Bears. Uh, the Dorian White show, the big catch 
on a 30-yard completion, comes in, slings in for a first down, and then waltzes into the end zone for the touchdown. And Stonington's gonna go for two here. Third, 24 seconds, Ledger on their heels, 13-12, Stonington has a chance. Win this game now. Roll the dice. Get your best play. Tedeschi back in the game at quarterback. And time timeout out called by Ledger. They want to talk Ledger this over. So well, you talk about Dorian White. Comes what a ball game this kid has played on both sides of the football. Defensively, he has been a pain in the keister for Ledger. Offensively, just catches a big 30-yard touchdown. Catch, quarterback is hurt. He delivers the goods to Lowry and then walks in for a touchdown. Rarely have I ever said that at this point in the game, the Waterford Dental Health player of the game will be decided by who wins this game. Because yeah, I think I could be, uh, James Green is the is the player of the game if Ledger holds on. Sure, but if Stonington scores here, yeah, for the two point conversion, yeah, it's White's, Dorian White's your player of the game. Easily. Easily. And you could argue he's the player of the game regardless as far as the player had the most impact on this game. But Green is there as well. You could also say Santa Gata probably had as much of an impact on the legend side of things. Here we go. The two-point conversion attempt by Stonington. And Castiglio, Castagliolo gets the direct snap. End around it goes. In the end zone, the pass. It's complete. It's complete to Obri. Castagliolo to Dadeski to Obri. And with 24 seconds under a full moon at Stonington High School, a bad moon has risen. Tricks and treats for the Bears. Oh, my goodness gracious. 24 seconds left in the game. Phenomenal. I, 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 what can you say? That was phenomenal. Direct snap to Castagliolo. End around. It was the play that the Eagles ran against the Patriots. The Philly special. The Philly special. And Obri leaked out and he gets the pass. And the two-point conversion, that had to be your best two-point play. And it was 14-13 Bears. That's when you reach into the bag of tricks and you say, what is our best play? Well, that's what it was. Run to perfection. Ledger caught completely off guard. And Sports Doctor, think about this. Stonington had not scored an offensive touchdown tonight. Green for they went Maggie. pick six and then nothing. They get stopped on the goal line. Wow. Ledger goes down and scores. Only the kickoff. Stonington goes 60 yards plus. Backup quarterback, two-point conversion. Crazy. What a football game, huh? A wacky finish here, and we're not done because there's still 24 seconds remaining. What a great game. Mahoney will kick it off. Squibbed, and it's going to go out, out of, of bounds. bounds. Wait a minute. Oh. Almost. Lowry almost scooped that in and ran it in for six. Almost got him, but instead it'll go out of bounds, so it'll be at the 35. Unbelievable. 24 seconds to go, 55 yards. That's 65 good. yards. Good luck. 65 right, yards. If, if, if Dorian White is not the player of the game, then who is? I mean, this kid, is he, oh. he did everything. As of right now, he is. He is. <laughs> we, got, yeah. we got 24 seconds left for that to change. I can't believe they're in the Philly special. On a two-point conversion. I hate that problem. Yeah, I, I, love I love I it for AJ Massacre. I know you do. And, if it's, and White made his impact on defense until he was called upon. Then he yeah. made his, and then caught a pass, threw a pass, ran in for a touchdown <laughs> on the same drive. First down. Out low. Keeps it. Pressured by Obrey. Down he goes at the 42-yard line. Clock with 18 carry. seconds remaining, Not and Ledger boy. will take a timeout. Not I want to be way. clear about that because I just said it he, out loud he, he, for the he, first time. He threw a pass. Well, he caught a pass, pass, and he threw, threw a pass, pass, and then and he ran, ran in a touchdown, touchdown yeah. on the same drive. Same drive. Yes. You saw it. And the catch was what jump-started Stoney. Yes. And the pass was 96 on the gun. <laughs> it was. And the run untouched. was untouched into the end zone. Yeah. So... 
And this is on the heels of him being the difference maker defensively. Uh, when he, he, when he, he stepped was, up at the defensive end position. He was a thousand position. percent the defensive maker. He, he played a hell of a ball game. The Stonington Bears are imploring the fans, let's go. After a bad loss last week to Killingly where they got beat up. Crazy. They have a chance to knock off previously undefeated Ledger, who led mere minutes ago if they can hold on for 18 seconds. Two deep safeties for Stonington stand at their own 45. Outlow rolls. Here comes White on the backside. Pressured by Obrey and out of bounds. Short gain. White pressured from one side, Obrey from the other. And then McGugan stepping up. All names we have called an awful lot tonight. Mm. By the way, freshman linebackers are not supposed to have this much impact. Wait for him in three Third years. And Third and two, 12 seconds remaining. Timeout, Ledger. Just listen to the Stonington crowd. Ledger's out of timeout. Ledger is out of timeouts. So with 12 seconds remaining, they will have time to run this play. And if they get a first down, enough time to get up and run a second play. But that's about all. Two plays. And if they don't get the first down, they might not have time to run a second play. So this is a huge opportunity for the Bears to end this thing. A remarkable finish to our ball game here at Stonington High School. And if Stonington can hold on, watch this place erupt. The crowd gets loud on third down. In motion green. Outlow, toss to green. He wants to throw it deep down the field into quadruple coverage. And it's intercepted. Intercepted by Luke Lowry. And the Bears will hold on in this one. Intercepts the pass. Two seconds on the clock. Stonington needs to take a knee, and this one will end. Injured player on the sideline. First and ten, Stonington. We have an injured colonel on the field. We're going to they're going to attend to him. Some cramping. We've got an audience report from New London that the Whalers have the ball with 48 seconds left. Game tied. Ball is on the Waterford 27. So if we had if we had the simulcast capability, we would throw it over to that <laughs> game. But uh, that's next. That's what's next. Let's go. Peter, I'm going to keep you on for a second. Can you remember in our recent history a drive where a player threw a ball, caught a ball, and ran a ball all in the same uh, all in the same drive? No. I mean, it 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 might have happened, but. I mean, the throwing it and the running it happens with quarterbacks. And I, I could see it on the – maybe maybe a Fitch you know, end around. That's the ball game. Back pass or something. But, but I mean, that's a, I mean, that's, a remar that's pretty remarkable. The knee was taken. The game is over. Zeros on the clock. And the Bears with an improbable 14 to 13 victory. What a win for A.J. Massengale and the Stonington Bears after getting beat up last week. They responded, overcame adversity, and a signature win on the season, giving Ledger its first loss of the season. And a happy Stonington crowd will go home tonight. It was the homecoming game, and quite a homecoming it was. The Bears pull out the victory. The sports doctor will have the Waterford Dental Health player of the game and 
We know who that's going to be, and he's going to talk with A.J. Massengale as well. Next week it'll be soccer and volleyball, and then we'll be back at it. Just soccer regular season. Eventually it'll be soccer and volleyball, but soccer. But in this one, Stonington 14, Ledger 13. Oh, the highlight package is going to be fantastic, so stay tuned for that as well as our post-game interviews. For Peter Wappi and the crew and the sports doctor Keith O'Brien, Mikey D on the sidelines, I'm Casey O'Neill saying good night, everybody.